Caleb. All right, would it be in after 7 o'clock? We'll call the uh, February 28th meeting to order, and we'll start off with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, one nation, one nation under God, indivisible, and liberty, 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 and justice for all. We have minutes. Did anybody read the minutes for the 28th of I don't March? think they're ready. Huh? I don't think they're ready. They were ready. We were, they were on the last week, week's agenda. Oh, they were? Nobody got to read it. Oh. Okay, that's why. Did anybody Did get to read, read it? No. Okay, okay so All we'll, right, we'll continue. <laughs> we'll continue. It. All right. First one is a COC for 242-1739 Ray Street Subdivision. Um, so this order issued in December of 2018 governed construction of a roadway in cul-de-sac with access to seven new single-family house lots along its frontage, utilities in installation, and construction of stormwater management facilities, portions of which were within uh, riverfront area and buffer zone to bordering vegetated wetland. Um, Lots serviced by sewer and a sewer pump station was also proposed. Um, there were several conditions that related to um, stormwater management facilities, cleaning before a certificate of compliance was um, issued, having um, a third party uh, inspection engaged, uh, inspector engaged um, at the time of certificate of compliance. Um, revising the operation and uh, management plan to include the surface um, detention basin that were that serviced the North Cross um, subdivision that was there before this subdivision came in um, and just proof that uh, structures were inspected and cleaned Uh, and all of those things are included in your packet. The uh, engineer couldn't make it tonight, but uh, the developer is here if you have any questions for him. But I think we have what we were looking for when they tried to um, request their certificate of compliance a number of months ago. Any questions? Joe, any questions? Um, just to refresh my memory, all of the lots in the lot development came in as part of the one package with the road and everything, correct? Um, but there were modifications to some of them? No. So a second order of conditions was issued for the lots that were within jurisdiction. Those have been closed out. Those were, so they, yes. all right. Yes. So they are looking for a full compliance with yes. everything. Yes. And nothing else is hanging. Right. Okay. That, yep. That's all I had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No questions. <clears throat> no questions. I have one question for the commission at some point, because <clears throat> at some point they're gonna uh, they're going for street acceptance, and then once the street acceptance is made, that detention upon maintenance goes away, pretty much. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It adds in the signs. So, if the order conditions survives and it does, and perpetual maintenance of the system under no one plan survives and it does then whoever the heir or assign is, if it's the town, then the town takes it on. It doesn't go away. It's still the same obligation. Now, whatever the town planning board said with regards to acceptance, it should have come up. Right. You know, that whether the town wants to maintain it or not, they, they need to be clear as if they take it and accept it, they're taking that as well. I believe that the town would accept the street and the catch basins and be responsible for that. And then whatever facilities are on private property, the homeowners association is responsible. Is that what the document that. says? That's, yeah. My memory is the town required the developer to install, tie into the sewer and install a, a lift station. That service not just the subdivision, but. And now we're talking about the uh, sewer, storm water. Sewer? 
They're talking about stormwater? Yeah, yeah. they the own them get on the stormwater. That the detention the area. Okay, I'm sorry. That detention area that we, they share with the North Cross subdivision, when, when they applied to use it, yeah. it was all treated. And so we made them come. They wanted to use it. They had to clean it up, make it function properly. Well, actually, they installed, they installed a new system, I thought. No, they're using, they're using the, uh, the North Cross uh, detention that is part of their uh, storm. I think this race has been run. Don't we we have an oil conditions, and we have an O&M plan, which is part of that oil conditions. There is a responsible party for carrying out the O&M plan. Right. Whatever the agreement is between the planning board and the town, DPW and the developer, whatever comes out of roadway acceptance simply means someone still has to maintain all the facilities. Whether they piecemeal it or whatever the agreement says, doesn't matter. Somebody's responsible for doing this forevermore. Yeah. <clears throat> well, the reason why I, I bring it up because to me, like it's like when these, the rain gods, <clears throat> I was not, I'm not a big fan of rain gods. I, I know they're great and they function, but they have to be maintained. So they accept the street. <clears throat> and they, DVW has nobody to do uh, rain guard maintenance. <clears throat> so it just, so now it doesn't function anymore. So we already had this detention area get overgrown and become non functioning when it was a North Cross subdivision. Now, you know, it's too bad it's going to happen again. But there's no, there's no mechanism once we approve the COC, then it's, we're done. So sitting where I sit as, as a town citizen and as a member of this commission, I would have to say, shame on us if we don't maintain what it is was taking it as accepted as a subdivision. If we agreed to let it be developed and we agreed with conditions in the town, if the conditions were to, that it ultimately be built the town standards, that it be accepted. When the town takes it, it's no different than any other subdivision. They are accepting the maintenance of it. Plowing of the streets, sweeping of the streets, mowing of shoulders and picking up of dead trees, and they own everything. You can't jury rig a gerrymander and pick what you want to do and not do. If if they if there is the planning board document that says a homeowners association shall be established for the purpose of maintaining this BMP, the the B and P for the detention area, then so be it. That's what it is. Then there is you know, they are responsible. Honestly, God, I have more faith in a homeowners association carrying it out than I do the town. Well, and even but even homeowners association, most of them never even get developed. Like my son was in that Empire Drive for seven years. They never had anything. Never had a meeting. Never had a, a, a election of offices. I don't think they ever saw an O&M plan. New Hampshire does it right. Those documents have to be filed and recorded at the registry prior to the release of the first lot. If we don't in Massachusetts or in our own town require that they do it right and legally up front, shame on us. But I think we did our job right. We, we made sure that the BMPs were in place to, to meet the stormwater standards in good faith. We, there's a document in place to maintain them forever. And who those parties are, they, they just have to do it, whoever it is. I mean, it's getting philosophical, but the reality is our document's clean. Right. And I don't think, you know, discussion of how that affects certificate of compliance is fair or not. I no. really don't think it's fair. No, I don't either. I just brought it up because <coughs> it, it just seems to me that we, we go through all this effort to make sure the stormwater works, and then once it's approved, mm -hmm. it goes by the wayside. Yes, speaking of someone who regularly inspects these ponds, yeah, yeah. yeah they don't get maintained. They don't. They don't. Okay, I won't say. Brad, any questions? No, I'm good. agree with you, though. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all set. Okay, motion. Uh, I move that we grant the for 2 foot 2, 1739. Sir. All those in favor say aye. Aye. <coughs> Opposed, and that's unanimous. Great. All right. Next one is uh, small project 321, 138 Lacey Street. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Um, so the project involves constructing a new 12 by 12 deck with six 12 inch footings at 48 inches deep each. 
Uh, the new deck will be within the existing footprint of a previous deck that um, deteriorated and had to be removed. The previous deck was 100, 100 square feet larger than what is proposed. Um, the previous deck, um, for, um, I forget the, uh, the previous deck dimensions, but it's, um, but the new deck is smaller. Um, the applicant is proposing to install clean three-quarter inch gravel beneath the footprint of the deck to aid in uh, drainage and to encourage it to go away from the edge of the uh, foundation. No other grading is proposed in this application. At its closest point, the new deck will be approximately 90 feet from the wetland resource area. Um, and the homeowner is here this evening with us if you have questions for him. But it is fairly straightforward. <coughs> Joe, any questions? Smaller, within the same footprint, great distance away, and flat yard, none. No questions. Yeah. Well said. Uh, the only question I have is, uh, the, you said the applicant is here? Yeah. Three-quarter inch gravel or three-quarter inch stone? Gravel. Stone. Gravel. You're going to put gravel then stone on top? What I'm going to do is I'm going to put gravel, compact it, put the fabric, and then put three-quarter inch stone over it. So you're not, okay. So you, you no use yeah. no gravel, stone. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, gravel. What do you need the gravel for? Why don't you just stone? Take a road pad. Makes no difference to me as long as the top surface is not going to re-road and it's relatively very flat from the photograph. So it really makes no difference to me. But uh, but I'm marrying both. I'm marrying gravel underneath, stone on top. Well, just that, you know, I was in, I'm just proposing that if needed. I was going to put gravel, compact it, and then build the fabric over it. You. Okay. All right. That that's what I meant. We need you to come to the microphone. Yeah. <laughs> they, yeah. Cause we just the producer just told us people at home can't hear you. Yeah. And that's how we advertise it. So. You can just introduce yourself too. Yes, I'm Philip Tedesco from 138 Lacey Street. Um, proposing just to raise the grade. There's a dip there. It's settled over the years. I just want to bring it up to the existing grade. I was going to use three quarter inch gravel on road pack. We're going to compact it, and then we're going to install the footings, um, and then put gravel. I'm mean, on three quarter inch stone. No, no, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Filter fabric, and then three quarter inch stone over that under the deck. Okay. The reason why that I asked. My, that's my proposal. The reason why I asked. I, I used to deliver stuff, and I somebody would order three quarter inch gravel. And I'd show up with the gravel, and they go, no, I don't want any dirt in it. You know, so I used to well, make sure that was have, gravel or stone. It does have dirt in it. Well, it does have dirt in it. I mean, I'm going to, it's road pack. It's, yeah. So that's going to have dirt. It's going to have fines. Right. So, so. It will. Okay. So we can compact it. I mean, that's, it's up to you. I'll, I'll put anything you want me to put. I just, I'm just trying to, because we're getting water in that area. A lot of water, and, it's, and I'm getting into my basement. And I wanted to just, that's what I was. How deep do you have to put it, do you think? Um, looking at the pictures, it goes from maybe four inches down to maybe almost a foot. Okay. To so meet you that, are going to want to put some grade. gravel. It's probably about 10 yards. Okay. 10, 12 yards. You know, a couple of things at play here. You've got a, I'm looking at the photographs too. You've got a window that's, your basement window that's, Underneath the deck. Right, we're going to put a well there. So you you obviously don't want to. All right, so you're going to put we're a well there. Put a, you obviously put, can't put your right. gravel up anywhere near four inches of that. Right, just we're, we're going to put a well there. Okay. Yes. So then you're going to want to pitch that out a little bit, is what you're just saying. Pitch it away. Compact it. And compact it. And then cr crush stone on top. Crush stone on top. Crush the fabric, fabric. If, you, if, you, if you feel it's necessary. That's the right treatment, so long as you yeah. stay as far enough away. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's all. Everything you just said is happening. 
underneath the footprint of the new deck? Yes. Not any further? Not any oh. further. Okay. Any questions, Brad? Uh, I think I'm good. We're not bringing in enough to need any type of perimeter control for no stockpiling or anything. It's so flat, flat as a pancake. It's so uh, flat. I wouldn't bother with it. Seems like a waste of money. I think I'm good. 90 feet it away. It is 90 feet away. Yeah. yeah. Any questions? I'm all set, thanks. Okay. Motion. Where's your septic system? Okay. Where is your septic system? It's in the front. They're not going to drive over to get the stone no, in the back out of it. No, no, no. No, it's in the front. There's plenty of room. In there, too. <laughs> no, we're not going to drive over the septic good system. Good answer. I don't need that. <laughs> Okay. Well, thank you very Mr. much. Chairman, I, I move that this project qualifies as a small project, and accordingly, I move that we consider it to be small project under A and L. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? That's unanimous. Thank so, you. So I move. Thank you very uh, much. My Oops, second sorry. motion, Mr. Chairman, is to approve the small project as proposed, with the recommendations as listed by the administrator. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That's unanimous. You're all set. Okay, you're all Thank set. you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Next one is a modification, uh, 242-1856, 35 Hawkins Lane. So the order issued in February of 2023 governs the construction of a new single filming house, septic system, roof infiltrators, driveway, stone infiltration trench, utilities, and associated grading and landscaping. Work is within the 100-foot buffer zone to bordering vegetated wetland, 200-foot riverfront area associated with Boston Brook and natural heritage, uh, actual habitat for Blanding's turtle. Construction is well underway. The foundation is installed and the contractors have encountered uh, bedrock and ledge at the west end of the foundation, which actually um, forced them to um, not have a full foundation on a section of it because of the, um, the, the ledge. Um, but the west side of the foundation the house was supposed to receive two roof infiltrators as shown on the exhibit plan here. Um, so in trying to excavate for them, they've encountered some pretty um, resistant ledge. They were able to get enough depth for one of them, but the second one, um, they were having a really hard time. So the the homeowner called me. We, we decided it's probably best for them to, to stop trying to hammer it. And um, I consulted with Commissioner Lynch, and he suggested uh, a modification to eliminate this second infiltrator because bedrock doesn't infiltrate anyway. They're over it. And then um, manage the roof runoff on that side with uh, the downspouts and some um, scour protection. So the homeowner is here this evening if you have questions for him. Um, but that's the modification in a nutshell. Any questions, Joe? Uh, I think Amy summarized it pretty, pretty succinctly. The um, single-family lot, really, it's exempt from stormwater control anyway. But the reality is we always want to create a extent practical, trying to recharge if we can. Uh, the reality is if it's bedrock to begin with, what kind of infiltration was there to begin with? What are you getting by doing it now? Uh, but you were able to get one. Is it, is it practical to make it simply double gallery instead of a single gallery in the same location? Or um, we might be able to try that. Uh, um, Andrew Barr, 35 um, Hawkins. Lane. Um, it's they've created a bit of a belly of bedrock um, now there I mean there is sort of an outlet on one side of it for it to in infiltrate more um, I think it makes more sense it, it, well and one thing to understand is that the one that we're able to get in there is on the wetland side mm -hmm. the one that we're not is on away from the wetland side so the downspouts will at least be going in the opposite direction from the wetlands from as far as an infiltration into wetland but 
that area, of, I think we're going to get more recharge from downspouts into that area of the yard, which is, which is just going to be a natural yard, than putting it into the bedrock. Also, I just don't want it to be, that, that end of the house is where we've, we, we have a crawl space on, the, on a third of the house now because of the bedrock, which is fine. But I don't want the water to be suddenly trying to find its way. Backing its way back in. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. And, and that, I mean, really, it's jurisdictional only on the driveway approach coming in. Yeah. This, this whole area is outside the hundred, so if you are just simply discharge it to the ground, it's got a long way to go to soak in before it causes a problem. Right. Definitely. I'm all set. I'm all set. And I'm curious with the capacity of these tanks that were that are going under the chamber. Does anybody know the size? I'm just surprised to see two of them for a single family house. That seems it's big. they're not they're not particularly large. They're the they're the ones that are I think three feet wide by about two feet high and oh, okay. uh, uh, twelve feet long. Coltec infiltrators. Coltec yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. They're not okay. Huge. Yeah, I think you got plenty in there for a single family. I'm good. Yeah, I agree. I think this is a, it's, it's fine to remove the other one because of the um, ledge. Okay, motion. I move that we grant the modification, and the modification is to remove the, I think the direction, the southernmost infiltrator from the project uh, in allowing the first one to, to the north to remain. We have a second. 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 All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? That's him. Well said. Great. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Next one is uh, Ann Rand for 242 1883 1250 Oscar Street. All For a bordering vegetated wetland delineation at 1250 Osgood Street, it's about 280 linear feet of BDW. Uh, Justine and I walked the line today with Maureen Harold, the wetland consultant who delineated the wetland, um, and we didn't make any changes to the flags. Once you get out there, it, it's really obvious where the edge of wet is, and a lot of it is just historic fill, so toe of historic fill. Um, it's kind of messy back there with a lot of trash and broken bottles and glass. And so hopefully with whatever project they're proposing, if they come before us, we can get that cleaned up. Um, it's going to take more than just um, manual <laughs> labor. It's just gross out there. But anyway. Um, so no changes to the to the line. I'm comfortable with that. Um, the engineer is here this evening. If you have questions for him, but that's my report. Go. This is adjacent to Princeton calcite cal cal problem. Yep. And this is some of the area where the calcite migrated off that property into this, or is that did, further? That's further I to the don't north. I don't think it did. So that's, this is actually a little more upgradient than what was happening with the calcite. more to the back. So there's nothing that we've obligated them to do on this property. It was that adjacent property. Right, right. Yep. I'm all set. Yeah? Yeah, that's my, my same concern, the, the proximity yep. to 1210. Yep. Were they going to be the recipients of any of the bad flow from 1210 yep. no, in, in any way? you're clearly upgradient of that. Okay. Yes. That was the concern. Thank you. Yep. All right. I'm all set, thanks. So you guys could close the hearing and I could um, prepare findings um, for the next meeting and you could issue I'll move at the we next close. meeting. I'll move that we close and give you the opportunity to prepare the findings. Okay. Second. All those in favor say aye. Close and that's the end of this. Thank, Thank you. you very much. <laughs> Thanks. Another stellar job, Mr. Stepinski. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Next one is, uh, we'll, we'll get the continuances out of the way. 242-1878, uh, 
Request to continue till March 13th. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And that's unanimous. Uh, next one is 242-1876, 492 Sutton Street. Request to continue till March 27th. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? And that's unanimous. Uh, this one was a continuous. So, uh, 242-1869-674, Turnpike Street. 79. Yeah. Request to continue, I'm sorry, oh, yeah. till uh, 313. Which, which one are we? Uh, I one? missed one. Uh, yeah, I think you missed, did six, we missed 1870, Ann Road, Road, 30 Ann Road. Oh, that's the one I missed? Okay. Yeah, I, think so. I think so. All right, 1878 30 Ann Road. Request so, to continue to uh, March 13th. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And that's unanimous. All right, next one is uh, 242 1882 350 Winthrop Ave. So I have some uh, selection, selected sheets from the full size set plan set for you guys to share. Computer. Oh, okay. Let me try to get up. Um, <coughs> so at the last meeting, uh, the commission requested some additional information and some plan changes. Um, one being uh, a taller fence being installed at the south side of the property to help abate trash deposition in the wetland. Plan sheet C4 notes an eight, eight foot high uh, black vinyl coated chain link fence to be installed. Um, commission wanted a plan describing how they are going to remedy the erosion at the twin 36 inch culverts at the back of the property. Plan sheet C2 uh, shows the area of work, and plan sheet C8 shows three detail boxes at the bottom, um, proposing to remove about 16 feet of the terminal section of the terminal of the drain pipes, um, installing a riprap splash pad in that footprint, and then uh, stabilizing the eroded slope with um, a riprap slope. Um, and I had inquired as to whether any of that work resulted in wetland impact calculations and all of that work was upland of the delineated wetland. So um, really not, they, you know, it's, it wasn't within the footprint of the, of the BBW itself. Um, Roof runoff at the rear of the building uh, was to be taken offline. Um, plan sheet C2 shows proposed roof uh, drains six and seven connecting to drain manholes three and six, so they're not mixing. <laughs> um, and then the commission wanted to know what the planning board was going to require for noise abatements, if any. Um, Planning board didn't require any physical changes to the site. They uh, instead are requiring sound testing for a period of time, which I think is two years, two years post construction. And then um, with, a, with a look back and the ability to require physical um, abatement measures if, if those uh, monitoring results prove necessary. So they would have to come back for you know, review by the planning board and, our, and ourselves if that activity is in the buffer zone. 
Um, the planning board did close their hearing on the 20th and they issued their decision approval. And that's, and uh, the project engineer and the wetland consultant is here this evening if you have questions. Thank you. Joe, any questions? Uh, the things we asked for, I see on the plans. So thank you very much for, for doing that. Appreciate it. The um, little vague on the sound attenuation issue, one I don't remember being raised, so I might have been asleep during oh. that part of the meeting. And the second is, I'm always afraid that if the planning board requires monitoring and some future activity, I don't want to pre, and you said it, we're not precluding whether that's a cop blanche approval for sound deadening wall in the wetland. You know, whatever that is, it may be unattainable from our perspective in the future. It's kind of a, still an open issue, but it's, you know, it's been identified as a target and yeah. I don't want anybody to think that we're assenting to whatever the uh, oh, planning no. board ultimately no. says. No. If they say there was a sound problem and you need to do something about it and the solution is put a sound <coughs> barrier, a sound wall in, and it's with the resource area, we may not approve it. Right. I just want to be clear on that. Uh, uh, yeah, I understand that. I think you guys understand that too. Yes, good evening. Uh, for the record, uh, Brian Dundon with RJ O'Connell and Associates. Uh, regarding the, uh, the sound atten attenuation discussion with the planning board, it, it really um, focuses around the southernmost loading dock facility for the future market basket uh, uh, supermarket area. That loading dock area is located outside the, the respective uh, wetland resource area buffer zone. So any, any of those impacts or any mitigation measures that need to apply, they will not result in any uh, impacts uh, to any resource areas or buffer zones to those respective resource areas. Excellent. I'm all set. Yeah. All set. I, I'd just like to thank you guys. This is the second project you came before us and did a great job. Things that we asked for, you addressed immediately. Uh, and, I, and I'm very grateful for what you did. It makes life easy, easier for both of us. <laughs> Agreed. Thank you. Uh, and, and the planning thing, I, I, I'm going to voice my opinion. How, how do you control sound when you're below when they're, you're on low ground, they're on high ground. I'd be interested to see how that would keep. Yes, well, again, the, the direct abutter um, to the, the property is 360, 329 uh, Waverly Street. In a, sense, in a nutshell, the, the noise discomfort that is being, uh, there, that they are having to live with happens to be dealing, directly re attributed to nighttime delivery hours. In other words, they were using the back of the, of the shopping center delivering product at 2, 3, 4 in the morning and, and their quality of life impacts were, were being degraded. Uh, we have since met with them. Uh, we have, they have shown up at all the planning board hearings and we have ceased any nighttime operations in the back. Now it's down to one tenant which uh, occupies a, runs a, a liquor store operation that is emptying his dumpster before the prerequisite pre 7 a.m. to uh, to 7 p.m. hours that have been established and uh, the ownership group of Market Basket is taking pro proactive measures to get that issue resolved. So we believe that uh, with the redevelopment of the project and the rooftop units associated with both the, re the renovated Market Basket and Coles screen walls and, and the like will be installed around those perimeter a complete ceasing of nighttime delivery operations which is a condition of the special permit will be ceased um, we believe that we will mitigate the majority of the discomfort and the noise that's being generated that they've been having to live through um, at that point that's good that's a great job you're being very proactive i think it's good yes you know considering you were there first <laughs> Yeah, but still, we understand. The movie theater was there first. What's that? The yeah. drive-in theater was there first, right? Yes, it was. Exactly right. The they probably would have complained about the cars at the drive-in. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Brad? Uh, looks great. I just have one question. Do we know if we have a detail for the eight-foot chain link fence? No, I did note that that's a four-foot, and that was for... The four-foot detail is for around... Yeah, so uh, from else. a construction standpoint, the detail for the four-foot fence 
which was, which was re really geared towards um, the new fencing at the uh, water quality basins, is essentially the same installation practice, only a different height. That's why we have noted on the drawing C4 in three or four locations that this fence, as you're replacing the existing floor with an eight, uh, it, it would just, the install detail would just essentially be the same, it's just a, a height issue. Don't you need a mid rail if you go higher than six feet? Uh, I don't want to hold you. I'm not going to hold you up no, on this uh, one. I'm, I just want to make sure we build a fence that's not going to fall over. Oh, no. It's just, uh, it won't fall over. There'll probably be, a, you're right, there'll probably be some sort of a support bracket at some, at some interval. But again, the shop drawing that comes in, usually on the construction side, will we'll, we'll take care of all that. Cool. Sounds good. Uh, no, I don't have any comments. I think everything was addressed. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Motion. Move that we close an issue in 21 days. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, and that's unanimous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I have a draft decision ready for you tonight. Okay. So. All right. Next we'll one we'll is. On uh, next one is. We're going to vote on that later. Uh, now, can we open an NOI with an outstanding. Enforcement order. Yes. Yes, because the enforcement order required a notice of intent. Okay. All right, so we get 242-1884-49 Court Street. All right. And we can save a, a lot of time on this one. I and we brought, we brought to my attention that the, uh, the grades on the the grades on the project are not the grades that are, they were, they were they, these were from when they were before they hit. Uh, yeah. Right. yeah. So they're not accurate. All right. The grades on the slope reflect the fill when it was first brought to the site. <coughs> the enforcement order required it to be removed outside the 25, so the slope is different on the ground than what is shown on the plan. I'm not sure if the applicant or the applicant's representative is here this evening yet. Or? Okay. Okay. Um, Make sure I understand what Lou said. So, so we had a we had a lot that was the original lot a few years ago. Had had topography in the background. Yeah. Had. This is not that. Correct. And it's also not what's there now. Right. But sometime between what it used to be and where it is now, they had filled it. And we, we had them pull it, they surveyed it, and then we've since had them yes. pull it back and they pulled it yes. back. So this was prior to them pulling it back? Yes. Okay. Yes. So what is the existing condition? It was the original well, condition, right? Right. Oh. So, they, they, so you're looking at it, we're looking at we're trying, uh, they're trying to get us a approval project. We don't know the, we don't know the, the parent. Well, the grades are right. Well, well, we don't have a representative or applicant here yet, so should we table it? I I expected them. Well, let me let me let me just ask a question for normally when an NOI comes before us proposing alteration, grade, construction, whatever, the plan that's put in front of us, which is required, mm -hmm. it usually are the existing conditions. Right. That's what we're supposed to be looking at. Yep. We're supposed to be working off the existing conditions yep. to consider waivers or whatever yep. it is they want to use. This plan does not reflect the right. existing conditions. Right. Is that correct? That's right. It was a question that I had. So to be clear, like, what I would consider existing conditions are those conditions that existed prior to any alteration. That would have been what was the existing condition is the basis of our enforcement order. So whatever the backyard looked like, we can approximate it. We know where the um, front yard was. We know, know where the tallest slope is. We could, we can look at the you know area of photography and kind of approximate what the grade used to be. But what we're really looking at is the limits of how far the toe of the slope goes. But we want them to restore it as best they can to what limits were there originally. I say originally. Let's, let's say three years ago before this all started restore it to where it was originally at that time and then allow them to make the rest of the rest restoration upgraded to that 
that meets our bylaw and provides stability. That's really what mm -hmm. we're looking for, right? Mm -hmm. So well, I think that the existing condition is almost a hybrid. Joe, so yeah. my, my concern is, and, and I'm in defense of the abutta. You know, th this was filled extensively. I, I don't know if you went out there, but it was a oh, yeah. major way film. Way back, way back, yeah. Major film. And they pulled back from the brook. But when they're done, what are these slopes to the abutters? What are they, what are they? Because we don't know, because we, we don't know what the grade is. Are they going to make it a three to one slope? Are they going to make it no slope? They want to, over here, they want to extend the driveway and put a wall. Uh, All of these are good points, but I do, I, I agree with Amy, I think we should table this, because the questions we're asking rhetorically and guessing at answers on amongst ourselves, oh, we right, should okay. ask them so directly. Guys, they, can we wait just a second? So oh, they have. Okay. Applicant and his consultant is here. We thought we were later on the agenda. We apologize. Sorry about that. Right. We're too efficient today. Sorry about that. Sorry. All right. We're waiting up there just to be polite. Sorry about that. Okay, so I thought you, I you, heard someone else. Do you need a minute or are you ready to go? Because we've, we've, right. we've opened it, but we're happy to sure. table you and move some other things around. Whatever. Thank you. Okay, well, you, you shouldn't do you have want to pitch. To, you know, you should be able to warm up before you pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Do you Liz. want me to give you the rundown and then we can have them? Yes, yes. Gaps and then we can return yes, to please, Yes, please. Okay, all right. So um, this notice of intent is a result of an enforcement action for the unauthorized importation of fill, grading, installation of a patio, um, and this notice of intent is required as one of the corrective actions that we, the commission ordered. Activities subject to after the fact permitting include the import of fill, grading to create a level backyard, patio construction, um, a steel picket fence and arborvitaes that were installed at the top of the slope. Um, and then the um, proposed activities that haven't been undertaken yet um, is a, an extension to the driveway, which is outside the 50-foot no-build zone. It's 340 square feet of total. Construction of a retaining wall and associated grading off the end of the the driveway extension <clears throat> with about half of the retaining wall inside the 50. Sections of privacy fencing and then uh, relocations of existing fence, fence sections. Uh, installation of an 8 by 8 shed outside the 50. Uh, a s proposed stone patio seating area that's about 160 square feet, about half of which is in the 50 foot. Uh, drain pipe installation to capture roof runoff um, that will that are to be daylighted in two separate riprap apron velocity reducers. Um, a waiver request has been submitted. Um, there is a swing set and trampoline within the 25 foot no disturb zone down at at the um, southerly. No, yeah, the very southerly corner, <coughs> south southwest corner of the site, which I wasn't sure whether it was on property or off property because it was so far tucked in. Um, so this plan shows their location. Um, the commission will likely want to address those things in the 25. Um, and then just noting that the topography for the slope at the back reflects what was brought to the site initially, but not what it, not what got fixed and pulled out of the 25. So that's where we're at, and um, the applicant and what well, consultant are here. If you want to fill in the gaps or make any statements, okay. Or Thanks. presentations. Thanks, Joe. So when you first came in, prior to you coming in, we were debating, so what is existing conditions? And as you know, prior to any fill coming into the backyard versus what was brought into the backyard versus what's been since some of it's been pulled back, and what does this on-the-ground survey on August of 2022 represent of this plan? So I think it's, 
it's a hybrid between those three, I think. And I, and I want clarification because we don't know what this is. Did you? What you see there reflects what was done in summer 22. Um, there, there's some spot elevations that, um, that Jim has that he's taken based on uh, known elevations in the backyard that didn't make it onto the survey, onto the proposed plan. Um, so we, we understand that was an item that might have come up. Uh, relative to prior to the, to the earth, uh, to the um, importation of the fill in the 50, or in the 25 and 50, there is no, no, there's no known data that you have for that, for that backyard. I mean, other, other than, I know I've bought like five truckloads at 15, you know, they, they weren't the triaxle loads, they were more like the 10 yard load, I mean the 15 yard load, so five trucks times 15 yards. So my follow up to that question is, so we don't know what the existing slope was in the backyard. Well, we know what's there as of this August of 22, shown on the straw. From the original violation, we had pulled back and yeah. stabilized with blankets, and we, we exposed whatever there was um, some stumps there that denoted. But I don't think the it's impossible. Original grade. I don't think it's impossible to, <coughs> to estimate what the original grades were because your two abutting yards have grades. Tie the grades together. Tie the lines together. Well, the, 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 they're, they're quite different topographically. The, the, the yard to the south is quite a bit higher, and you can see, from, I think Amy has seen from the site, that there's a cut in the fence, and it's a little bit of exposed um, cut in, in their grade. And then, obviously, the, the, the uh, property to the north um, is much lower, much lower. Um, I, I wasn't involved at that point. But um, if, you, if you take a 170 from well, the abutting property to the south, leave us, and you look at a look for a 170 on the other property, and you try to you start interpolating to see what that line might have looked like. I think you get a better estimate of what the grade in the back, and tempered by aerial you know photography over history, you can you can see how much was altered. You can see if that interpol interpolation makes more sense. But to say we don't know what it looks like, I think there hasn't been an effort made to demonstrate what it did look like because I think mm -hmm. part of this overall discussion is enforcement of what was brought in, what is allowed, and what is the slope we expect it to be on versus what it was as compared to what you want to do. And right now we have this like middle <clears throat> hybrid situation where we it's not clear. But the condition here is, the existing condition is a violation. So, and, the, which, which I don't think is what we're looking I, for. I thought we, we got ourselves out of the violation prior, like, we were out of the violation and we were waiting to do an NOI. So we solved the violation, we stabilized it, and everybody approved it, and then everything was in limbo for a year. And we, 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 that's when we did a few other little things to we know, prevent the dog from They didn't get out of the violation. They, they pulled it back to get out of the 25. 25. And everything else we were, is still a violation. Just, we haven't simply accepted it yet, have we? No. I don't think so. No, no we, we, we were waiting for a notice. We wanted to, state, we wanted to get it needed, out, needed, stabilize it. Yeah file an NOI, so the t right. they did those first two things pretty quickly, yeah. yes. and here we are right. with the NOI finally. Right. So I, 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 to say that what is out there now has been accepted, that's not the I don't remember that being the case. No. I believe the violation was an issue. We took care of the violation, and then you, we were waiting on an NOI to talk about what we wanted for our future plans. So we, we, had, we had satisfied the violation stabilize it with stabilizing blankets and conservation mix and all this stuff and you guys we've we had monitoring done for many many months and had it um, a wetland scientist stable well, you know, monitor I did, it I did a couple and, and uh, me did a couple and I reported everything so I'm still wrestling with and I, I don't want to sound negative because I understand what we're looking to do yeah. if this came in virgin you would say we would say and you would agree we're not going to do any work in the 25, but between the 25 and 50, we can we can alter the grades, we can alter the terrain, so long as we don't build the structure. Above 50, we can alter the terrain and build the structure, if that's what we're looking to do. So if that's the case, if they've pulled everything out of the 25, and they're saying, whether it's existing or part of the original violation, or if they're saying, we're outside the 25, that's what we're asking you to do, is let the stuff stay here, is that not the existing condition for this purpose? 
think it is. It's a little in my narrative. It's, it's it was it was hard to sort of you know because I, I started out saying that that there were ATF after the fact, obviously um, approvals that the applicant was seeking. So in in that regard, it's it, it, it's kind of re retreat the story and, and retell the story based on when I got involved and the time since when I wasn't involved um, back into to this this winter. Um, so th there is, you know. Right. ATF Amy, for me after the fact is something I deal with, and, and Amy and I sat down with uh, Jim and tried to figure out the, the uh, filing fees based on what was ATF after the fact, and, and, and in accordance with your. Uh, I, I can also provide a picture of what the yard looked like years ago when the kids were on a swing set. If that helps satisfy anybody's need to. It, it, it's a, understand the fill. It might be needed, volume. but I, I'm not. I'm not there yet because I don't think I need to go that far. So, a Amy, what you know to be the 25 foot don't disturb. That they did in fact disturb. They they have in fact pulled it all pulled out. It and so that's all yeah. out of there. Right. So if even if they wanted to build a, you know, real steep slope, outside the 25, we it would be before us to think about its stability and how to right. vegetate and how to maintain it, right. et cetera. So if, if they're saying they're already out, this existing condition is probably where we want to start. What do you mean? But clear that's, in my mind, I'm not saying it right now. Well, yeah. obviously you see grades in the 25, and that was the fill that was first brought to the site. That's not what exists right now. That Those topo lines are... They should be pulled out of the yeah. 25. That got that that. So this that survey was done before that stuff was pulled out. That was yeah. for yes. the violation. And, and then millennium came out. So this is non-existent. It's non-existent. No, that's, that's what I don't was, think. That's what I was because saying. of that. It was, yeah, yeah it, it was at one and, time. And he didn't want to certify it because he didn't know the existing grades from before. I mean, you can speak to that. So yeah, he he didn't have existing grades from before the activity was was conducted. At this point, as I said before, um, earlier on. Jim has some spot elevations, and we can try to go back and, you know, I, I mentioned this to Jim at one point, to do some math to see, if, to find out where we had existing topo and how much the existing contours were and how much fill, um, estimating how much fill was brought I'm going to stand up because my, apparently my, my verbs, my language isn't carry. Can we have zoom this down a little bit? If I, if I grab 160, oh boy, I think this is, is that focused a little? It's better on the plan, but can that focus on better? I see one. Uh, not right there. But I think 160 on the property line. Now we know 160 over there, you can see. Again, okay, we have to pull it down and get that. But we can see 160 off property here. Yeah. We don't think Mother Nature did this. No, no. That's Phil. Yeah. We think it went from point A to point B. Right. And use that same interpolation all the way down outside the, outside the 25. And everything in there is all the terrain. Right. So we want to find and, out. And by body. connecting those dots, you can get a much better estimation of what the original grades were, and that's what we want them put back at. And they may already be there, but they need to pick that up. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Really, what we know okay. is we need to know is today's topo. Yeah, what it's, right. what's like, out there right now. Yeah. And you, th and you think they pulled all of that out, even to the right grade? Yeah, if they pulled it all out, and she says they did, then we just need. Yeah. Today's topo on here, and then we can evaluate. Okay. I think until we have. I mean, that, that, that 25 was marked out in the field when you were pulling things yeah, back. Yeah, yeah. And you can I mean, see where yeah. the fence the line was and where the stumps were. They're, they're now they're re exposed again. We were very we, we careful pull. about that because I know that yeah. that's sacred, yeah. obviously, and that and the 50 yeah. are very sacred. And the, the reason I didn't arbitrarily grab 160 as the, as the grade, I picked that because that was the next topo in, in the vote up above the 25. Right, right, right. So I'm saying that from the 25 below, 160 and lower, that's the area we need resurveyed. Because everything above it is what is, in fact, they're going to be asking for their design to, to include. Well, it, it, like I said, the, the, the grades bother me. Because I, I, my concern, I understand that you're worried about the, the creek and the wetlands. But we, you, we have a butters here that if they built property high, all their water is being dispersed to the abutters. Mm -hmm. We were concerned about so that. So that should be one. that should be addressed. And based on these elevations, we don't I don't I don't know what they are. 
I mean, it, it says 164, but it could be 174, because we have no present elevations. The plan, the plan when he, they submitted this plan, it should have the existing, existing elevations now. Right now. Right now. And then, if they, and then what would be nice, having the old, the old uh, elevations, which they don't have, on the plan, so we can see, you know, like we put two, two over, the, one over each other, so we see pre-construction and proposed. But we don't have that. They, they can't supply it because we don't know what it is. Well, we, we, we're all guesstimating. So, well, I'm, you're talking. Do you, I mean, are we zeroing on pre-existing before anything happened? Pre-existing elevations in the 25. Is that what? we want to zero in on or do we want the whole backyard pre-existing elevations before anything happened and the then world, we would want that yeah yeah because we got yeah, to do okay but you're not going to but you're not going to get it you all you're going to get is get someone's best guess right right and, and, and this and this is not that i mean they, no I would, between would, the two would it be feasible to have jim um try to place some of the elevations he's got from uh in january um, see, see I, have exist, I have existing conditions grades right now, but they're not on this plan, which is what they need. That's what I'm, that's what I'm getting yeah. at. Yeah. He's got a laser as well, and he's shot several points. If they've taken the soil out of the 25, I don't think we need to go back in time to the beginning. We right. need to know what they have right now and what they want to do. Well, my, like I said, my concern is where's we need the, to know. With all this water that's up here. Yep. Because even there's still, it's still. The, Court Street's higher than everybody. Mm -hmm. So everything coming this way, where's it going? Yeah, oh, that's, that's yeah. excellent. You give us yeah. what's right, we that, have right yeah. now, and that, then you give us what you want to do, like right. the normal existing proposed. I think that's going to tell us what we need to know. We that don't need to do this, go back in time and tell us where it was. No. Yeah, I, I mentioned that briefly last, last time we were here, that it's yeah. now shedding towards the south, away from the abutter to the north, which is a good thing. And if we were to move along with the discussion, some of the components will, will further alleviate some of any potential drainage towards the direction of, in the direction of that abutting property owner as well, with the retaining wall and, and, sorry, and retaining some of that drainage. Because it's, it's now, right now, and it's not reflected on there, it sheds towards the south. So, right. so I think, this doesn't show that at all. We That's, we, we understand, understand. Right. Now, and then what is proposed. So kind of like what what are the grades within that existing twenty? I, you know, I think I'm echoing what everyone else is saying. What are the grades right now within that existing twenty five foot? And then what do you want to do um, grading wise in the future? And then yeah, the existing grades are yeah. the are the future grades. So they'll be the ones we get. We'll get you. We'll get you those grades. What seems to be the general contention is. But we want we want exi uh, a survey plan of existing existing elevations, yep. and then if you could overlay what your provoke your proposed elevations are, so we could see yeah. the difference, what's what, and where's what, and and like I said, for me, my concern are the are the abutters. I yeah. want I want to make sure the water does not. I'd like to see the water go back and and we and treat. Treat your water. Yeah, I can tell you the good thing about that is that it will and does now. It sheds to the southeast, which is a huge elevation difference from the abutting yeah. part. So, but we can, we can have that demonstrated better. So, so, right, so let's go. Let me just spin yeah. wheels. Right. Yeah. The uh, purposes of the enforcement order. I think they have met the threshold of by getting it an NOI in time. We it's yeah. before us. We've opened it. We're having a discussion. So I think we continue to move down that road, but. We're not there, so I think we're going to. I'm going to make a motion to continue to get a an on the ground right. survey of the existing conditions today. Right. Not anything altering this. No, not the applicant himself altering somebody else's stamp plan. But want a engineered plan yes. of the existing conditions today and a separate plan with the existing conditions and to what they want to do. Because uh, right now I can't assess. Can't do our job. Can't assess how it affects the wetland. Yep. Can't assess what it was, what it is the proposal to, yep. and how it doesn't affect the butters. It just doesn't do it. 
So I'm going to make a motion to continue. So, but wait, we do have a butters here, we do. so we, we should let them talk. All right, sure. Um, but I think one before you leave that. So I wanted to make sure you picked up on who's going to be doing who's going to be doing the survey. The surveyor. The surveyor. That's what you expect. That's what, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. I want the right. surveyor to be to yes. do it on their plan with their stamp. Uh, I yep. don't want any alteration of anybody else's plan. Right. Okay. It's All right. I, right. So I'm not going to no, let I that know. happen. Right. Okay. I just want to make sure that was clear. So there's. Uh, Can I just ask? Did you want to respond? I'm sorry. Uh, so the existing right now and a proposed separate plan and somehow try to um, estimate what was brought in because it's pulled back at this point? No, we can't really do that at this point. From the, from, from the 22 plan and what we have now, it should be good. From the 25-foot no disturb down, I think you can estimate it and yeah. show us what that was. Okay, you can, you can, you can, can we talk about the other things? Yeah. Oh, wait. Is it possible to discuss the other things or just go the other components? I think we should, and I think that... I never completed the, my motion and it wasn't seconded, so... No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's up to the table. I, I, I don't think uh, it's hard to go and look at the plans right now and, and to look address issues on the plan yeah. because we don't know, we don't I still don't know what's what as com as 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 pal palatable components. Yeah. Well, I mean, uh, if if the grades if the grades have to be changed if we don't approve the grades that you that they, from the from the fifty. I, I don't know. I mean, I. I there's, there's no need to continue. We're going to continue anyway, so there's no need to address the, the, well, uh, the trampoline and the, the trampoline and the uh, swing set. That's gone. That's out. You got to get moved. That's that's, that's not permanent. That's not, that was that's just not, to do the work up in the yard. You know, that's why I put down. The you know the fence is going to be the fence. Uh, like I said, I don't. I don't. I think. I think we should wait. I think it should be continued. And we we get some abutter input, which I'd like to put that in, so that you'll you can. Address their issues. Address yeah. Did you want to speak, sir? Yeah, I'm Jay Mortensen, 259 Osgood Street. So, as the abutter to, as they say, on the south, my property is far below their grade. From what they pulled back when they took all the greenery off the side of the hill, when they put the backhoe in the backyard and pulled it up, so now there's no greenery holding back the soil on that side of the brook. My side of the brook, where I had lawn all the way to the brook that I've maintained for 30 years, now is wet all the time. So something has happened with the drainage in the brook area because it's changed my property. Not to mention that the wildlife. There are no more turkeys. There's no more rabbits. The deer don't come anymore. They're all in my yard. Yeah. Well, that's because they've got a place to go. Because the rest of my neighbors strip their yards of all the forestation that they have, and uh, there's nowhere for them to live anymore. That's all I have to say. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking to maintain my property and not have it flooded because the, the brook is now changed based on the runoff from different projects. We haven't, and then we have, like you said, sir, we haven't addressed the, um, the 25 has to be replicated and stabilized and has been pretty well. We won't. Oh, no, I, I heard all that. That's, cup, that's I, coming. I just wanted to tell you what was, was on my mind. And, no, that's know, good. As far as has it abuts the problem. Well, actually, the ch what you describe as the change in water conditions is very significant because that would relate directly to the, to the grading. Well, I don't think it's just as there's other properties that have done major work yeah. that have affected that in that little valley. Gotcha. Yeah, it sheets, it, it, water still sheets in that direction. There's no question about that. I don't think it's any additional water because of because of the, the soil. No, the, the rate of flow could be could have been impacted. Uh, the, the, the the sheet flow and, and yeah, sheets. The no mitigation question, yeah. measures that were naturally in place before yeah. are gone. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned. A lot of what you're proposing is dependent upon a waiver. Yeah, absolutely. I'm That's reading why. your I'm re reading your waiver request, and basically, your project is dead in the water without a waiver. So, well, I prepared the waiver request, right? You did. Yeah. You did. 
Okay, we have another uh, about who wants to speak. Thank you, I'm John, John Weaver, 37 Court Street, and I'm the North Abutter. And you've, you've made the comments that we wanted to hear you make about water flow. We're very worried about this project Im impacting our property in any way. And uh, we just wanted to make sure you were going to look closely at that, especially that riprap that was on their plan. We saw this plan to have water come from their property onto our property. And we already have pooling out there. We don't want their, their water going in that direction. So we're glad. We appreciate that you're taking a look at that. And I'll save my other comments for a future meeting. But thank you. Thank you. So you know what he's talking about, the um, riprap apron to the north that is kind of taking a turn. And that's what, he's, that's what he means. I think the I think the survey that's been asked for is really significant yeah. in order to be able to even consider the waiver. It's an uphill waiver. No, no pun intended. It's an uphill waiver. Um, I think we need to have the plan so that we understand what we're looking for before we can have a meaningful conversation on this. I, I think anyway. I see pretty much you know what we want. Survey plan previous. What what's there? Now what's your now what's proposed and go from there. And then we have to adjust the water issues, the grading. I mean, because that, that may, the, the picture that I saw makes me look very makes it look very uncomfortable. That grass hasn't grown on the It 25? is. That's when it was first Yeah, the twenty five is really really lush at this point. Good. At least it was as of, as of the summer 22. Right. Okay. So <laughs> did, we have a... Did Brad and Marissa have any <coughs> comments? Yeah, the picture that you see is probably that's the far side towards the south part of the, um, the uh, to the south of the property. Yeah, that was September 22, early September. So it was coming in then, but, but you know, but it's a year later now, it's lush. See the exposed fence post. All right, so that was I saw that picture. September of twenty two. It's, it's the next one. Is that what that looks like now? No. That's the backyard of the arborvitae. That's that's on this side of the. Yep. That's, that's before the break of the hill, right? Right. That's, that's near the house. Upgrading of the twenty-five. Yep. Okay. I guess that's it. Okay. Yeah. So go, go, yeah. go back down again, uh, Amy. Small. Next one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's looking south. The brook too. Now that's all stable now. Yeah. Yeah. It is. That Amy? is growing. Yes. Okay. That sprouted. I have a question. Where was the tree line before any work started? There are some uh, stumps that are noted on the plan that show some of the trees that were overgrown in the yard and the house at the time that we had taken down. And I don't know if that helps you. Um, oh, yes. It helps us to make where our old nation was. Right. right. Yeah. Okay. So this was sloped down to a tree line here, or was this wooded? I think there was some trees down there. But so it all started with a tree removal request mm -hmm. um, that our field inspector at the time approved a certain suite of trees to be removed, and then things got out of hand with Phil coming in, which wasn't discussed at all, and, you know, the field inspector was pretty clear on, you're in the buffer zone, any work needs permitting, blah, 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 so. During the tree field inspection, were the photographs taken? That would help the record? Some. That would help the record? Yeah. Again, until we get the survey, I don't need to see the photos okay. now. I just All need right. to know that they're available. Yeah. There's some. I mean, it's, they're probably not comprehensive of, you know, but. It's going to help us. Yeah. Yep. Through it. Yeah. 
with, without photos, I tried to mention that in the waiver of the existing condition of that you know, some Norway maple and some white ash trees, but mainly Norway maple trees and honeysuckle shrubs. I don't have anything else. You have anything else? No, nope, I'm all set. Okay, motion to continue. We have, we need a second. second. To the uh, 13th. Yeah, let's put it for the next meeting and let's we'll see if they can, I mean, if they, they're not ready, they can let us know. Okay. And the ball's in the surveyor's court at this point. Right. Right. So you made the motion, Joe? Or second. Brad, Brad, second. Brad, second. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, and that's okay. unanimous. So we'll Thank you. To Thank, you. Thank you for your time. Apologies. I, we really thought we were later in the well, agenda. No, that's, that's all right. right. I'm like, chat and I heard voices. I was like, who is that out there? Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Next one is 242-1273, 113 Bridges Lane. So um, at the last meeting, um, we discussed alterations in the buffer zone that I had only observed from aerial photography and you had um, asked the homeowner to allow me on site to do more investigation so I did that yesterday and I have I just took a bunch of pictures there was no mystery as to where the edge of wetland is it's open water um, and so there's quite a bit of alteration in the backyard um, understory was removed, fill was brought in, uh, crushed stone was um, installed, um, uh, pea stone was installed up on the hill for like a play area, a boardwalk and a deck was installed in the wetland. Um, so here's the, the crushed stone and this is the edge of wetland you know it are those stones and fill in the wetland I don't know but it's pretty it's at the edge if well, not nature doesn't build just straight inside. lines right well, so I mean, that should that should be that should be auger to determine whether yeah what's I there. That, that's yes that's gonna be part of what that's, we, yeah we're gonna have to order that right um, so there's a, an outbuilding, so, sort of a shed that can accommodate a car right up against the wetland. Um, Amy, I just want to make sure I'm not in a butter to this project. When you're traveling down bridges, is it on the Mosquito Brook side of the road or the other side of the road? The other side. Not on the Mosquito Brook side. Right. Okay. right thank you. Yeah, so here's the top part of the slope where there's a play area and the pea stone um, looks like Salisbury Beach I know my god now that that one that's part of the wetland mm. Mm -hmm. it is mm-hmm that's why they needed the stone. Okay. Otherwise, you get your feet wet. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. So what do you, what do you want to do? So, so you, what do you, you, I think I think. Um, do you have an enforcement order ready? Well, I have a suggestion as to what could be included in it, okay. and I think the commission would would want some sort of existing conditions plan to see wetlands no disturb zone no build zones um, what is within the within the wetland and the 25 that would never have gotten approved what's in the 50 if any any structures that wouldn't be approved so, let, so that we would approach that stuff with a restoration plan and then perhaps after the fact notice of intent for things that might be allowed so why don't we do this why don't we 
issue an order, an enforcement order that mandates that they stop with cease and desist uh, an existing conditions plan that now and a restoration plan. We just stop there. They got to, they're going to, they're going to need a wetland scientist to show approximately. They're going to have to delineate it somehow. Yeah. Um, which, so based on your photos, shouldn't be too difficult. So, uh, are you I talking? Need, to, need, we're talking. I need a baseline understanding for me to yeah. wrap my head around this. I see an ambitious. I see an ambitious undertaking by a well-intentioned, landscaping natured person who has no idea where he's working. That's what I see. Yeah. Has there been any other, was there any other conversation with these homeowners yeah, that would so make them think they ought not to be doing this? Yes. Right, I gave so you. So now my attitude's yeah. changed. I gave you the chronology. I just want to make sure I want to get that on the record. Um, with the enforcement order, which I attached with the initial enforcement order. Right. So it's not that. I mean, you may have been well-intentioned, homeowner working hard, with landscape ideas and ambitions in their mind, but was cautioned, don't do this without in writing, other things. In writing. Okay. So that's and, now, this is and, now a flagrant, and, and in flagrant person. violation. Yes. It rises to a whole new level. Right. So this is an outright order to yeah, restore this is not, the area right. and to file a notice of intent within 60 days of today. And, to, and that notice of intent is to restore the entire area to the original conditions within jurisdiction. That's what they, I want that enforcement order to say. I'd like to see a delineation first. Well, that's whatever no, it takes to get there. I, I, I don't, I think we need to order restoration under an enforcement order. So say order it restored and that an order and conditions be filed within 60 days to restore that. You, you want to restore know. it now. Well, you it's, don't want to restore it. You want to do it under an EO. You don't want an NOA. You, you want an EO. I want this. restoration of things we'd never allow under an enforcement order. So, and then we can talk about... And no, and no, I do it. I know that. I'd rather. Well, no, it. no, I'm, I'm talking. We need, uh, we need an existing conditions plan. We need a restoration plan similar to 863 Winter Street. We need exactly <laughs> what I'm thinking. We need soils and delineation. We need to, yeah. I mean, I think right, even, exactly. even though it looks obvious, let's, let's, let's really. No, I, <clears throat> I agree. Yeah. So and, we need. And historical, historical photos are going to be key here. Yep. I, I think everything from in the 25 in the wetlands. So when did you discover this? I mean, so yeah. what, what brought it here tonight? Um, propane tanks. Propane tanks. An application for propane tanks. Floating, floating and then, tanks. And then, so let me offer and this, then, this rather than beating around the bush. I want fines to be levied. I want fines to go back to when you first notify them in writing to not do anything without coming to us. If that means a year ago, two years ago, I want fines to pull all the way back to that. That's what I want. Because this is a flagrant F you, we're not going to do it. We're just going to do what we want. And that does not, I mean, that's so much, so much more egregious than it is to simply, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm no, an ambitious I know. homeowner. I know. This is far worse than that. So the homeowner was here last time. And he's here he right now. Here. Yeah. He's here in the and I, I don't think I'm saying anything that he would have to disagree with, other than my tone. I think it's more. I think he's more coolest than flagrant. Just my humble opinion. Really? Yeah. He's what? I said I think he's more. Cool, got it in the coolest, more clueless than flagrant. You said he got it in writing. The last yeah, time. It doesn't, I it doesn't him, mitigate I... the violation. I'm just saying. Okay, well, Joe, whatever. Joe, Joe's, Joe's, whatever. Joe's asking for fines. So he doesn't right, understand right, what I'm saying when I say it's in the buffer zone. You can't do activity without a permit. So he doesn't understand it. I don't know what he doesn't understand. So, I, I okay. I you say that. We haven't chatted that much. It's, it, but it's incumbent upon him to, to understand. Okay, so. Would it be okay? So my, my recommendation, issue an enforcement order, cease and desist any further work, get a full existing conditions plan with a wetland delineation, and a restoration plan for removing all violations within the wetland and the 25. And if there's any structures in the 50, get them out of there too. Yeah. And then we will review that, give a timeline, a deadline for execution of that restoration plan. And then we can talk about between the 50 and the 100, what, what could possibly be permitted under notice of intent. Well, that's, that's why, my recommendation. That's why I'm saying uh, historical photos because Bridges Lane was constructed in 1985. Mm -hmm. So yeah. there were a lot. 
Yeah, yeah I mean, I was back there in 2022, and it was wooded. It was all, it was very um, disorienting to step on the property now, based on when I was there in March 2022. So I'm like, where am I? I can't even. It was wooded. Okay. So, so. Just lay out the enforcement order exactly as you want it, and I'll move for you. I I, um, I think that um, the stuff that's in the 25 and in the wetland should be removed immediately. Well, we want to get a scientist out there. I don't think we need a scientist. We, 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 I, we, don't, we don't want a bobcat out there uh, digging it No, we need guidance. Okay. We, can't, guidance. we can't. The let only it. defense is I didn't know what the, the note of the the warning in writing meant I, that's the last person when I went out there with a machine thinking knows we're doing the right thing. No, no, I, I, I'm so, I don't want that to happen. So, so we want we want we want a wetland scientist. I'm not saying we have. Yeah, have I'm not conducting saying conducting a delineation. Tell them to go out there with an excavator and, 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 and drafting right. a restoration plan. Yeah, I think the stuff should be removed yeah. by I'm, by I'm, them tell, him, and telling us how they're going to do it, when they're going to do it, and how, how they're so going to do it. So we're all saying the same thing. We, we we just we don't want to just say restore it. And bang, we we want to we want to we want to see some type of restoration plan and who's doing it and how's it going to be accomplished? Because if the if the if the stones uh, actually in stand there to cover standing water, that's a whole different operation. Yeah, that's a whole different operation. We we don't want anything out there. Well, I'm looking at I'm looking at the bridge and the deck. Okay, but I'm uh, the, all right. So I wouldn't do it piecemeal. The, when you get right down to it. It's already happened. It's there. It looks stable. Leave it as bad as it's no, been there to get this stuff and, and do it right. And do it right once. So don't do it piecemeal. So, so order. Can I, can I please take something on? You can come to the. Oh, please, right. Have a seat at the table and. <laughs> so all the water, you see the deck. The angle was there yesterday, and if you go there tomorrow, you'll see. 25 water, 25 percent water left. All the water come from the street and is stuck on my on my, uh, on my backyard. That's a wetland. It's yeah, a wetland. Yeah, I, I understand, so but all the dirty, you know what I mean. You see some, just the bad stuff, but all the dirty is oh, in there. Bags, really trash, everything come to my backyard. I clean everything. You know what I mean. If you go there, maybe May, you see no water there. I understand it's, it's wetland. You know, it's my fault. Whatever I gotta do, how you do. You know what I mean. If you gotta take it out, I will take it out because it was my fault. You know what I mean? I just tried what he said. I don't know what I'm doing, I just tried to clean, you know what I mean? I didn't get any trees, you know what I mean? I just wanna make sure my backyard looks good for my kids can play. That's it, you know what I mean? So we're gonna give you we're gonna give you an enforcement order with instructions. Okay, please. Of what we want you to do. Please. All right? Yes. Okay. And you need to follow them. Well, yes. Or the commission can institute fines, okay, daily fine. fines. That's okay. Fine. So I need you to take it seriously. Yep. You didn't take me seriously in twenty twenty two. You didn't pay attention to my emails or our on-site conversation. You altered the front wetland about 10 days after we left the site. And then you went ahead the next year and went to town in the backyard. Um, so you need to take it seriously. Okay. Everything okay. was more easy if Tyler was here because he was there. He's not working for guys anymore, right? Because I get what he said for the beginning. You know what I mean? What he says, everything was there when he was in my house. So I did what he said I did. You know what I mean? Whatever, you know what I mean? You make me do, I will do it. You know yeah, no, we, we got aerial photos and everything. We, we, Please. We can see the sequence. All right, thank so, you. So, so, so let, let us try to put this together for you. So, so an enforcement so, uh, cease order. Cease and assist activity. Cease and assist, all yeah. activity. Engage a wetland scientist and a surveyor. Conduct a delineation. Do a delineation and prepare an existing conditions plan. So delineation has to be careful of what the original original limits were. right well, original. We want, we want the original limits right, and, and uh, we want a, rest, a restoration and a restoration plan. plan for encroachment into the wetland, the twenty five, yeah, we'll, and structures in the fifty. Yeah, we're going to remove and restore. Right, That'll and be. we want that so existing we, conditions plan and restoration plan by. We want it. What date? Within 30 days. Okay. We want we'll to start with 30 days. We'll start, with, we'll start yeah. with 30 days. If, reality he can't, is they just, yeah. if, if, if he can't get it done within 30 days, he can tell us, and we can give him more time. But I'd like to see, I'd like to be, this is the right time of year to do it right now. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna kind of fortify that by saying I want, I, I, I start talking about fines back to the day that you notified him, 2000, 
That's harsh. But the reality is fines as of today. $100, is it $100 a day? Is that a yeah. $100 a day effective today, accruing every single day until such time as, as the enforcement action and the restoration plan has been formally submitted to us. We will consider those fines at that time of whether it's appropriate to relax them or not. But, I'll, but if, they, if we do not receive a restoration plan within 90 days, all fines are in place and they're non negotiable. You guys going to give to me that restoration plan or I get a. You have to engage a wetland consultant and a surveyor to prepare it for you. Okay. We if, don't do anything for okay. you. If it's you, on if your dime. If you call the office tomorrow, they have a list of names of engineers and scientists, okay. a whole list of names. You pick whoever you want. Okay. And you hire them. You, you're hiring them yourself. You're interviewing them. Okay. You're paying them. Okay, that's fine. We, we, just, we just tell you who, who's on the approved list. I just list. think 30 days is, is, is not enough. Well, I'll, it, I'll, wait, I'll wait here's, here's, days. What I, here's what you should do. You should try. Okay. Because yep. it's going to cost you 100 bucks a day. So you should try, to, if for no other reason, to save yourself some money. Because you're going to be paying us $100 a day until you get the thing filed and in place. Start from today? Starting from today. I think that's too much. Well, if you work fast, it'll be less. It'll be much faster, you know what I mean? I, I, I get to surgery in two knees uh, in the next two weeks. If for me, it's, it's, it's too much. It's you know, I, I, I think your favors are all used up. I think you really got to find a way to get it done. Well, I, will, I will try, but, I, I, but it's $100. Who's ever three kids no, to same, put food on the, the table? too much. Effect. Whether it's $100 a day for 30 days or $100 for 60 days, let's give them 60 days to get that plan to us. It's the same exact, the fines are going to be the same as they are. It, the reality is to get an engineer and surveyor and a wetland scientist to answer the phone in a week can lose up 20% of his time. Brad shaking his head, okay, a week and a half to at least answer the phone. Yeah. <laughs> then we might get the work done. I'm trying, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to motivate him here. Yeah. What I'm trying to say is the same motivation. The fines are still going to accrue, but we'll give them six days. So, so, so we'll get it done as fast as you can. In order for the fines to stop, you got to get somebody on board, hired, make and a contact plan with in Amy, our hand. start and the plan, plan start submitted. the restoration. You got to do it. You got to do it. No, I'm going to do it, but you know what I mean. I think like you know what I mean. That's a big mistake you made over there. I, I understand you know, because again, you know what I mean. I did nothing. You know what I mean. I thought it was okay, but you know what I mean. Again, the last time I was here, if I know the first time I bought it. If I know the house, well, no, I never bought the house because I bought the house in July. Was no water there. You yeah. know what I mean? I supposed to be looking at everything. It's Who's my fault, you? Oh, well. You know what I mean? All right. So you're gonna you're gonna have to find a way to work fast. Just try. Okay. You gotta you gotta work hard. All right, Anyways, so can you give me at least 30 days after 30 days 30 to start days. The, the fines? Because for me, it's too much. 100 dollars per day is too much. I don't even I don't even make 100 dollars per you day. Can, you can apply. You can apply for an abatement of the fines when you get everything filed and you get the work done. Then you could come back to us and ask us to reconsider the fines. And I'm not saying we will, but you can ask. You wouldn't be the first one. What I wanted to establish was a clear deadline that if we don't get into 60 days and there's simply no progress and no good faith. It's well, non-negotiable. The fines are the fines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to be clear with that. I can't. So if you can get it done in 60 days, ask us. I have a hard time believing he's not going to. You understand this is only going to get worse. It's not going to get better if you don't do it. No, I can decide to do it. You know what I mean? I'm going to take the, the deck soon, as soon as I can myself. You know what I mean? No, I start doing it as soon as possible. Don't do anything yet. you got to get the scientist and, and the surveyor. And the plan. Yeah, because the, the fee going to start a hundred dollars after today. You know what you I mean? I got to figure don't out. Don't do don't do anything in there. No. We're gonna it, the first thing it says is cease and desist activities on the enforcement order. That means, that do means do that means don't do anything. Stop. Do nothing. Yeah. Do don't nothing. Don't dig. Don't shovel. Nothing. Don't don't cut. I never cut. Cut and then I do. All right, well, that's, that's one anything. out of three. Don't do anything <laughs> over there. Any, give I'm me not, 30 days after 30 I'm days. I'm not lying to you. I'm trying to help you. I, I understand, but you know, I mean, to, $100 per day for me is too much. You know what I mean? I will find some way to figure it out, but $100 is too much for me. Well, if, if you get but it, I think it's the only thing that, that might motivate you. There's your motivation get, to get, get, get it, it done. Really get, it done. Get, it going. get it done. Get it online so we can stop the fines, and then when you get the work done, you can ask us to reconsider. Yeah. All right. But nobody's going to reconsider anything if you don't do it. Yeah, show good faith. you gotta, you got to make an attempt. you got to get it done. All right. Without bad people. So 
We're gonna we're gonna mail him or uh, deliver. Can you to him. please email me the person yes. who can go there? Yep. And let me. Yep. I'm gonna mail, mail him a list of. Uh, yeah, well, and I'll scientists. get him in the, the enforcement order as well. Amy's going to give you everything you need. You should have listened to her in the first place. It saved you a lot of money. Yeah, but the thing is, she was there, but Alfred was tired. Taylor was talking to me. Yeah. I mean, I, I was doing everything he says. And then he's no day Well, day he anymore. didn't tell you to alter the wetland. There's so no way Taylor was let's, talking to Amy. Let's not. Do. Yeah, <laughs> let's but not he should, whatever he told me to do, I did. Taylor didn't go up. No, no, you, you, no you, that's you, not You heard what you accurate, wanted to hear, right? But anyway, Justine's even tougher. Nobody would have let you do any of that. No yeah, way. None of us have. Taylor did not go back. That we, we All right, so. Um, okay, so. Uh, so, so go ahead. Issuing an enforcement wanna... order that requires a cease and desist, no further work whatsoever. Um, $100 a day will accrue um, until, um, until, unless, unless, well, $100 a day will accrue. Will accrue. Held in abeyance, right? Um, and we're giving him 60 days to submit an existing conditions plan that has a wetland, a wetland delineation by a wetland consultant surveyed by a surveyor that has the original edge of wetland shows all of the violations and all the work that's been done and a restoration plan to restore the wetland the 25 foot no disturb zone and remove structures from the 50 Okay. That, that's correct. So correct. moved. Sorry. All those in favor say aye. aye. <coughs> Opposed? And that's unanimous. All right. All right thank you. So I'll you be getting that to you and I'll give you the there. list. Sorry. Yeah. 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 I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a posted. Uh, thank it's fun you to watch you guys. Thanks, have been thanks for coming in. It is. I mean, it's just that. I mean, that that's a post of examples of how to screw up a well. That was, that was All right. All right. Aside from that. Okay. So the next one. 1689 Salem Street. 1689 Salem Street. All righty. All right. So this was, um, this results from a tree removal request. Um, <coughs> and, you know, the trees in question are on their way out of this world. So. You know, that, that, that's not really a big question, but when Justine was on site, she did observe a shed, which was right up against the wetland in the 25 foot no disturb zone, and a fence that is actually inside the wetland. It goes at the back of the house and all the way into the wetland. Um, so you can see that in this picture. So um, I gave you, um, aerial photography and uh, chronology of the site. Uh, we issued a violation letter to the homeowner who is the original owner, built the house, um, and asked him to come to the meeting tonight to discuss the fence and, and the shed that are both things that would never have gotten approved if, if they had been um, asked for. So, and you can introduce yourself. Okay, my, my name is Mark Shea, 1689 Salem Street. Um, I, I do have a cease and desist order myself already. Um, so what I just gathered from the last hearing is that I might need a list of civil engineer to determine on a way to remove the fence. It's, I don't know, it's simple pipes in the ground, which I was planning on removing this year. And the shutout, and all of this was put in being naive to the fact of the wetlands, the, the rules of the wetlands. Basically, but I do so, have some. Yeah. Quite a few trees up. I mean, did, that's did, you why build, did you build a house? Yes. What, what year did you build it? Nin 1986. 86, yeah. Yes. All right, so you, you, you're no stranger. You know what you know what's going on. <laughs> right. I, I well, I, I haven't. I've been here before, but that was 
when the house was being built, but other than that, I don't know what. Well, 1998, you got a letter from the Conservation Commission explaining about the Riverfront Act and everything. Yeah. And, uh, and, and uh, I know it's been a lot of years, but I think I know you. You're, you're an engineer, aren't you? No, really. You're not an engineer? No. You know, work for Channel Builders? No, I work for Charles. Charles, Charles, Charles Construction. Construction. Okay, I know it was one of the Superintendent. <laughs> so, I mean, what, what, what do you want? What do we want, Mr. Well, Shea, to do? Well, I think um, we yeah. need we need to get the fence out of the wetland and the 25, and find another location for the shed. If we can find a spot outside the 50, would be great. Um, but I'm, I'm, I don't think I have a spot for the fence. I think Mr. Uh, Shea is a little tough shed. on himself. This is not similar to the one we just heard. This is this is a violation. But you Nothing had some prior like knowledge. But you don't. There's no filling here, right? Right. The only thing that's in the wetland is a fence. Is a fence. So we want the fence out. We want the fence outside the 25. If you want it, if it works in your yard, you can put it at 25. And as part of what you give us, mm -hmm. you can tell us what that's going to be. But we don't want it within the 25. If you right. want to get rid of the fence, that's fine too. Yeah. Yeah. And we don't want the shed anywhere within the 50. So if you have a place in your yard where you get you know, 10 of your friends in a, in, in a case of beer, you get some logs and drag it to another location. Yeah, I'm going to have to look because I don't think I do have a... Or, or you take I, it down. I might, it might be going, you know, I'm, I'm planning, I'm thinking of my, maybe having it demolished. Just if I, if I well, so we just want it out of there. Yeah. So if you're if you're assenting to getting rid of the fence and getting rid of the shed, yeah. and you're willing to do that in a certain time frame, you're not hiring anybody. You're just no. getting rid of it. Right. We'll right? Give, exactly. We'll, we'll give you. Right. I just want to. We'll just say sure get rid of it. Right. Right. All right. We'll give you some time to do it yourself. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You just you just tell us what you need for time. We'll work with you. Yeah. So. These are very discreet and things. And the that trees, and that, those two trees are not an issue at all. If they're in the 25, just cut them down and leave them there. The thing to do is, before you do anything in the yard, yeah. have have Amy come out and look at it and and show her. Say, look, this is what I'd like to do. I'd like to take this fence, put it over here. I want to put this shed over here. Get oh. it squared away in advance. Right. You know. Right. And then you don't have to visit us. You know. Right. But what he first came for the trees. That right. It's clearly yeah, the trees then, are dead. Which, like I said, when I put the stuff there, I was. I would say I would say those trees are a storm away from coming down, anyways. <laughs> oh, probably tonight. <laughs> well, yeah. I think they're oh, dying. I think they're dead. Yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait till sunrise. Wait, 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 wait till sunrise. You know. Yeah, right. the, the, the trees might help you. They might take the shed down, so you don't have to rip it apart. I mean, I, I used that place was loaded with trees back there, but uh, the beavers came in and. Flooded the place and just killed them all. That's yeah, well, that's that's how you know you're in the riverfront area when yeah. they show up. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So. So I suggest the commission issue an enforcement order just requiring removal of the fence from the wetland and the 25, and removal of the shed from the 50-foot node build zone, and give a deadline for that. How long would it take you to take the fence down and get rid of the well, shed? I mean, it's still February. So I mean, let's say March, April, May. How about four months? I think that's fair. Three. 120 days. 120 days. He's going to do it himself. He's going to do the yeah. work himself. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And then if I'm he has like to, used to be, but I'm out maybe. No. Um. <laughs> and then and then Amy, if I, if he needs to if he needs to yeah, apply so any any wetland mix or anything to yeah any patches you know to anything to to patch it up uh, you know. So I think. Um, we should be have we'd have a site visit and make sure we know where the 25 is. Yeah, mark it out so that you know exactly where that is. And if you want to reestablish the fence, yeah, uh, okay. you can. You can so talk 19, about that. 1986, when the house, when the yard was developed and the house was built, the yard was the yard. So we're not seeing any encroachment mowing. It's, no, it's always no, pre-existing non. You know, and it's no, allowed. Yeah. It's there grandfathered. Rivers, there was no Rivers Act then. Yep. So mm -hmm. right. You know, we're only talking just those two things, fence and, and fence shed. Fence and shed. <coughs> and one other question, the trees? Yeah, take them. Yes? Yeah, so okay. uh, you guys are okay with us yeah, writing the tree removal No machines. Yeah. Don't, you know, no machine. not stumping it out. If you want to drop them and leave them there for habitat, that's fine. You want to drag them out and cut them up, that's fine too, because you can take them down. But don't stump. Right. Don't okay. Yeah, no, don't grind no or stump machines. them out. Okay. Right. Okay, so we can do that. So we're good. Okay, so... Take a vote to issue the enforcement order as so moved. Second. 
All those in favor say aye. 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 <coughs> Opposed? That's unanimous. All right. Now you will. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Thanks. Alrighty. Next one is uh, 226 Abbott Street, request for an emergency certification. All righty. So just to refresh your memories, uh, 226, 230, and 240 Abbott are houses that um, share a common driveway. Um, 230 owns the driveway, 240 and 226 have easements over the driveway. There is a wetland crossing. We have an as-built plan that shows a 30-inch corrugated metal pipe at the time um, carrying an intermittent stream underneath the driveway. So that's what we have on file. Fast forward to July of 2023, the homeowner at 226 uh, Abbott, Mr. Mark Rich, um, contacted our department um, informing us that he observed a, um, a sinkhole, which um, was a void underneath the, the driveway. Um, there was a couple site visits with a couple of the members, Justine, and um, the immediate action was to place a plate over that area, and that's been in place since. Um, in the intervening time, uh, Mr. Rich had, has been uh, reportedly trying to engage a contractor to um, you know, look at the situation and, and figure out what needs to be done. Um, and so we had intermittent, you know, contact through email. Um, Justine had done a tree removal um, approval for a couple of dead trees next to that stream in, I forget when. January okay and um, you know plate was still holding up at the time I was driving by just on another site visit on Friday last and noticed that there was an excavator and some uh, culvert pipe sections stored next to the stream so I emailed Mr. Rich and just kind of checked in and wanted to make sure that work was going to start with any kind of review by the commission. Um, he's here this evening um, requesting a, an emergency certification because uh, he does have a contractor now and um, he provided a scope of work which is in your packet and I can pull up some pictures and he's here if you want to address the commission or if you have questions for him. Um, I'm happy to speak if, if you want or not. Just just give us a brief sure. Thank um, you. explanation of why you need this emergency certification. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much for having us here tonight. My wife is in the back. Um, I'm here on behalf of myself at 226, but we've got 230 and 240 also there. So to, to back it up a little bit, and, and I appreciate both Justine and Amy have been wonderful to work with as have members of the, the commission. Um, this has been quite quite a saga, uh, which you, know, you wouldn't expect with the driveway, um, and luckily it's it's nothing like what you heard previously. Um, we have we we observed a spot in our driveway that was collecting water. You know, it just it it's, it just was an interesting spot where you, where you just seemed like maybe it was a defect in the paving. We really weren't sure. Over time, we noticed that it was it was getting more water, and then probably shortly before. Uh, what Amy was talking about back in July, we noticed a, a, essentially a crack in the, in the, in the driveway. The driveway runs, it, it's essentially like a private way. It goes all the way down from Abbott Street down to the three houses, and then we each have a, a driveway section that, that comes off that main driveway. And in this area, this spot, 
it, it, it traverses the, uh, the, the brook, and uh, it used to have stones on both sides, just field stones at both sides of the driveway. And uh, over time, you, know, you, you, you forget what things look like. And so over time, the, the, the stones just look like they had sunken down. But what we noticed is that this small crack in the driveway slowly was becoming larger and tipping in. And finally, it reached a point where um, it, was, it was large enough that, uh, you know, you're nervous to put your hand down there in case there was a troll living underneath. But uh, um, I, 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 did, I did look in there, and uh, lo and behold, when we looked in, there was nothing under the driveway. So we had the, the crust of pavement, and then you looked in, and you would have expected to see maybe the top of the culvert or something. But we're looking down, we, we, we fished a, a, a tape measure down and measured all the way down essentially the bottom, the bottom of the culvert, and discovered that the top of the culvert apparently is gone. We have noticed since, we, we didn't really connect it at the time, that if you look out in the brook um, towards, towards my, my property, you could see fill in the, in the brook, which, which we believe was the fill that was over the culvert, is now washed out. So there's nothing, there's nothing underneath this crust of pavement. And you could see over time it was, it was, it was coming down. At about the time that we met back in, in July, uh, you could see where it was really starting to come down and, and cracking. And so we were quite concerned because obviously you get delivery trucks, you get the oil trucks that come in, you get uh, our own vehicles coming through. And uh, so as we, we talked about it, as an initial step, the recommendation was put a plate down for, for immediate, an immediate situation. Uh, the plate, uh, Arco, the local contractor, um, generously was willing to, to, to essentially lend us the plate. And initially we, we were talking about hopefully getting the work done. Um, and I spent a while speaking to Lyle at, uh, at uh, uh, Arco, Kaya, not Lyle. And, and uh, we, spent, we spent a while back and forth. And unfortunately, I think they got a contract with the town, so they're, they're, they, were, they were booked up. I've spoken to, I spoke to one of the contractors, or I tried to reach one of the contractors, who was working down on Johnson Street trying to find someone who would do work. I, we, we were unable to find anyone who was, who was able or willing, because initially I thought that it was just a driveway repair. I had spoken to asphalt companies, so they just come and, and fill the hole until we realized, fill the hole, it's just going to fall through. You, you know, you've got, a, you've got an endless hole. So um, it's just been a saga of trying to find contractors. Um, so I happen to, you know, I do a lot of municipal work, and I happen to be, uh, approving some contracts for contractors in one of the municipalities I work in, which is the city of Medford, and the contractor that was doing their infrastructure improvements, and uh, I think they were doing the, the uh, complete streets program, you know, the, the, the full paving, was a company called uh, uh, MT Mayo out of uh, out of Woburn, and uh, I. Fortunately, I have all their references because I'm, I'm checking that they're contracting, and they had a great deal of experience. I contacted them. We went back and forth for a while, discussed scope of work, things like that. And uh, uh, backing up a little bit, I know I, there was a, a fair amount of communication with Amy, and then it, it, it tailed off because we were kind of sitting on it. Um, my recollection from the discussion is that we held off on seeking the emergency certification at that time because emergency certification is only good for the 30 days. And it was kind of like this catch-22. If we got the emergency cert then and couldn't get a contractor, then we'd be outside the emergency. And uh, so uh, in discussion with Amy, the, the, the suggestion was not to proceed at that time. But if you look now, the plate itself is settling into the driveway. The driveway, it, the driveway's not healthy. And uh, we're essentially one large truck away from a, a, a real disaster. If you look at the pictures that, that Amy took, uh, which I think were taken what, just a couple of days ago, yes. you can see the, 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 the top of the, Cheers. thank you, my wife will probably think I'm speaking too much, um, <laughs> and you can cut me off at any time. Um, the top of the, of, of the culvert where the, where the stones were is now uh, pretty much down, uh, I won't say it's closed the brook off, but you, you, uh, you really can't see the culvert anymore. Right. Because it's crushed, it's 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 fragmented. It's just you can see the rusted pieces. The field stones themselves have come down on the other side, um, on the Schwarzer side. They're the ones who had the the, tree, the recent tree removal. So we had a huge tree that was very. We have a lot of sick trees. You can see there are trees that have fallen down all over the area. 
But uh, if you look on their side, it's collected enormous amount of debris because the debris has no place to go at this point. There's this very limited flow. And uh, we, had, we have had uh, periods, we all know about how bad the rain has been lately, and we had a period where, because there's no flow, the, the, the brook just overflowed right across the driveway. I've got a great video of, you, you practically put a boat down our driveway. And so it was, it, it, it's really created quite an interesting situation. So empty mayo fit us into their schedule. Um, I do apologize for the equipment showing up. That, you know, I was somewhat taken by surprise as well. Uh, we did not do any work. Uh, and Amy, it was, it was almost coincidental. I had an email uh, prepared that I was going to send to Amy about the work. She contacted me. I sent her that email to try to explain what was going to be done. The, the simple reality of what they, and they, they have spoken to DPW. There's a, there's a water line and a sewer line running through the driveway. They're aware of it. It's all been marked out there. No, luckily, no underground electric or, or cable. So it's just the, 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 the sewer line and water line, and they, they, they know how to isolate that and deal with that. Uh, so the, the, the hope is simply to cut out, for the limit of work, the area of the pavement, remove that. There's no fill above it to remove. Take out the remains of that, that corrugated pipe. House was built in the late 70s. So that's the original pipe. I understand the as built says 30 inches. Our contractor, he went down there and measured, and he came up with a 36 inch pipe. I don't know, you know, I, I, I don't know how that was done, but that's that that's what he came up with. So, so I'm sorry. So let us let us acquire. Please let, do. Let, um, we'll, start, we'll start with Mr. Lynch. Please do. Thank you. So I completely understand everything you say. It happened in July. You plated it. This is not an emergency certification. What method do you want to do to get this work done? It's not eligible for emergency certification. Emergency certifications, except when a weather, severe weather emergency is declared by a jurisdiction, it hasn't been. It wasn't then, and it hasn't been since. It is only necessary to abate the emergency, which you did in July by putting the plates down. No other work shall be permitted beyond that necessary to abate the emergency. It's not an emergency, sir. So how is it you want to get this work done now? It's an NOI. It's approvable. It, it can be done, but it's not an emergency certification, not eligible. And it has to be filed with the DEP, and they're going to shoot it down anyway. It's not an emergency cert. It ne it, it, once that plate went down and no work was done during the emergency, once you abated the threat, it went away. It's not eligible to receive anything. So I, I hate to say it, it's completely approvable. This should have been an NOI six months ago should have been an NOI two months ago. The contract would be there with a permanent place, it would be done. The reality is, you're starting, with, starting from scratch. From my perspective, this is not an emergency certification. If, it, if the commission votes for it, I'll appeal to the DEP. That is not what we do. It's a complete misuse of an emergency certification. It's not the purpose. Yeah. So let me Sorry. ask you, you don't, you don't feel that we have any discretion? You have no jurisdiction. You have no discretion. And you have to file it in parallel with the DEP. You may give them guidance, but you it's not an emergency certification. We're going to have egg on our face, and it's a complete misuse. You can give them an enforcement order. You can, you can give them an, an RDA. You can give them an NOI. You can, whatever it is, but it cannot be an emergency certification. So we're going to look like idiots. Okay, no, there, there's a reason I'm asking you, because you know this stuff. You do it every day. Is it possible for us to give them an enforcement order? Whatever you guys can do, you can give them. A, I mean, would, it certainly goes way beyond the three conditions. Would, well, I, I, I <laughs> yeah. don't think it it's would. Not, it's not an enforcement order either. Well, I mean, the reality is they sat on it for, since July. Well, I, I understand. And all the stuff could have been engineering wise been gotten accomplished. Yeah. But now, because the contract is on site, is, is it a rush? I hate to say it. I mean, I think this is a misuse of our process. It really is. Well, I hate to say it. And maybe not intentional, but it, no, I, it's clearly not right. I appreciate your opinion. Let me just. And I'm done. So that's. Other than that, the work is easy. Let, let, I'll, I'll say one thing and then I'll shut up too. I, I just want to emphasize that there are three houses that are serviced by this one driveway and all the utilities go under. I've been on site several times and it's a tricky, it, it, it's, it's not, just, not just anybody could do this job. And uh, I think that might have been part of the problem why they couldn't get the, the contract. Not to mention that these guys were out, they were like tree, tree, tree contractors, they were all working. 24/7 everywhere. Um, 
I kind of sympathize as as a as a homeowner when you're in this situation. So, do you feel, in your humble opinion, that that it, an enforcement order would, would would pass the sink test? It doesn't. I mean, it. it I mean, we've long held if it's any more than two or three conditions. Yeah. It, 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 it's not It's not even an RDA because of the same reason. I mean, I, I hate to say it, 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 if this had just happened, it, it was washed out and they needed to get in and, and they had a contractor there, this would be an uh, emergency sir, all day long. These are the lowest flow conditions too we've had. Let me just, just be clear, because rather than paraphrasing, sure. unless, op this is, I'm reading from 310 CMR section 10.06, yeah. emergencies. Unless authorized by a severe weather emergency declaration, let me pause there because that definition is radio, and it's not that. There was no such declaration made. So unless it's that, any person requesting permission to do an emergency project shall specify why the project is necessary for the protection of the health and safety of the citizens of the Commonwealth, and what agency of the Commonwealth will be conducting the work. We could stretch three households in our town, they are citizens of the Commonwealth, the agency, we may extend jurisdiction of where the agency is commissioned to give them permission. The reality is it's not the public at large and it's not an agency of the Commonwealth doing the work. Continuing on, is therefore to perform the project and has ordered the project to be performed. If the project is certified to be an emergency by the Conservation Commission or the Commissioner, certificate, certification shall include a description of the work, which we just heard, which is to be allowed and shall not include work beyond that necessary to abate the emergency at hand. The plate did that back in July. There is no emergency anymore. Well, the, the plates head There south. is no more emergency. The plates head itself. There's still no emergency. They're getting in and out. They're, other than the contractor showing up, they, they, they would still be getting in and out of their driveways. So, I, don't, I don't think so. I, I don't think that. Well, that you can file the emergency certification, see what DEP says. If that's what you think. If you think it's an emergency cert, I can tell you it's not. And it's an abuse of our process. Not deliberately, but by, by accident. No, so in order, in, in order to not. Be violating the law ourselves. So that's why I'm, I'm I'm interested in learning more about if we could give them an, give them an enforcement order. Just asking asking the question. I'm putting well, it out there. Well, because in the same token, like, well, I'll just give an S, uh, a thing. Uh, Lemons that when he had the flood, okay. Took the foundation from under the house. It's still there. No, it's still and it's still. We, we I didn't go on and on. Once you get the emergency certification, the 30 days is a is a window that's not absolute. It can be extended if extenuating circumstances exist, and that's what sections four and five of the one to state. Well, you know, if we don't act, the department can. If we act, they find that we're in, in that we're not doing it correct. They can revoke our authorization, but it does allow them to go beyond the 30 days if conditions warrant, which is the limits. Situation perfectly. I, mean, I don't want to be a hot up, I don't want to be reading chapter and verse, but the reality is everything's emergency in somebody's opinion, and they're going to start coming in like, like tomorrow. I mean, something that's well, but it, it, like seven I, months old, in this seven case, months in old this, is just not going to wash. In this case, it, it is an emergency because if, if, if they needed a fire, to go, you know, hope, God, hope it would never happen, but if they needed a fire truck to go in there, it ain't gone. I would. I wouldn't put my. Tr I. I've been. There. I was there in July. You know? and he got nervous because I parked my pickup truck right on the, <laughs> right on the culvert. But I mean, it, it, and, and, I, and I've seen the pictures. It's gotten worse. I mean, did it, you get guidance from DEP? What I asked you? Um. <clears throat> yeah. It was. I had called her, but her cell phone wasn't working. But I emailed her, and I, I gave her the scenario instead of just saying, "Hey." We have a culvert that's kind of failing since July. I know what she was going to say. Right. Okay, so what I asked her is here's a, um, a scenario that's not happening, but a, a hypothetical scenario of what if we issued uh, an emergency certification for, you know, a collapsed culvert in a driveway um, 
but they couldn't secure a contractor within that 30-day window. So she said that she has seen this before. It was a situation that was urgent, but not really an emergency. The CONCOM actually issued uh, an emergency cert for three months. MassDEP didn't catch up in it with that in time, so we couldn't intervene. Um, but we did get involved when the commission issued a new emergency cert a few months later when the work still hadn't started. Obviously, a state or municipal fish, official must declare it to be a public health or safety emergency, and in order to occur, an order, an order work to occur. If it takes more than 30 days to get a contractor on board, then it could have and really should have gone through the NOA process because clearly there was time to do so. If the emergency cert expires and work is completed, is not completed, the commission has two choices in her opinion. Uh, if a municipal official declares it that it is still a public safety <coughs> emergency, then the CONCOM can issue a new EC for 30 days, or the CONCOM can require NOI because it's not an emergency, it's just urgent. May I? Get the fire chief to issue a statement that they will not bring apparatus down the driveway. If you get an out official to declare this an emergency and make sure you hit those dot those I's and cross those C's that you gave us, if a town official makes that an emergency as a threat to public safety, life and safety of the occupants. Joe, let me tell you, that's an emergency. That wouldn't be a fairy tale at all. It, it's, Get it. it. Right it, now we don't have that. Understood, but I'm just telling you, I was at that driveway on Saturday, this past Saturday, and the plate that's in the ground that was put there by Kyle and his dad is sinking down and the driveway is heading south. Of course. It's, it's, it's been seven months. Of course it is. Well, <laughs> that called it, this place, what year was this place built? 78. So, for 45 years, that culvert has been in place, and it's had it. It's done. It's washed out. Everything, all the support is washed out. When it starts raining again and the water starts climbing, it's going to take the rest of the driveway with it. Uh, I'm just saying, it's not, we're, we're not, we're not like. So what we deny ourselves with emergency, sir, we need, we, uh, we deny ourselves specificity. So. We've got Arco out there with a big pipe, 36. Someone said 30 corrugated. If we're looking at capacity, well, and it was overtopping because it was under capacity, we're putting a bigger, smoother pipe in. It's going to move water better, probably. What do the downstream neighbors say because you're moving water better? So I don't know about that. We're also, I'm hearing the head walls, those, those field cell walls on either end, have collapsed and deteriorated. Well, sometimes when the water gets through the, those head walls and works its way around the pipe, that's your method of failure. Mm -hmm. If you don't build the head walls properly, maybe they should be concrete and not field stone nowadays. Not hearing that. Um, we're not hearing anything that's going to protect this thing. I'm, I'm envisioning the cemetery. The cemetery went in and put in two big, huge cor um, corrugated plastic pipes, HDPE pipes. And how long they last? Four months because yeah, they didn't put the head walls. They blew right out. eight inches in 24 hours. It doesn't matter. It blew, they blew right out because, of, because under emergency cert, no engineering was done. Seat of the pants. In fact, that was ACO, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. That was ACO, the same exact contractor. I fear well, this, this by not going through happened. with specificity in by the process of getting how it is they're going to do it and do it right for their own interest, we run all those risks. And that's, what the, that's why, unless it's a real dire emergency, that's why they wanted to go through the process, so that's that level of review that we're not giving it any other way. Well, I, Again, I'd, very I'd like to add. But I'd like to add something about the why we think it's such an emergency situation that maybe hasn't come across so far, and it's because I'm an engineer. I like to like numbers. I went out and measured the cavern under the driveway, and it's roughly same dimensions. In every direction you measure it, it's about four feet. Picture this table as the volume underneath the driveway that's dead space. And that plate just covers it. And we have no idea how long that's going to hold up. And it's, it's just one heavy storm away from collapsing. And if that goes, or if some vehicle is on it at the time it goes, 
it's catastrophic. No. And, if, if and, I may, and that's why we we're need, so we concerned. We need town officials to make this a hazard. We need the fire inspector, the fire chief. We need somebody who goes out there and says to provide protection of the health and safety of the citizens of the Commonwealth who live in these three houses. We cannot get apparatus down that driveway when we would otherwise be able to. Therefore, it's an emergency. That's what the state's telling us we need. If, if we may, don't have if that, I may, Mr. Control. Chairman, because I, I and I, I I understand all the comments. One thing, just just to back up a little bit. This isn't a situation where we, we sat on this, and I, I don't know that if that's really what you meant. We, we've been working, we, I notified uh, the, the Conservation Commission myself as soon as I saw the issue. We've been, we've been dealing with this ever since, and it's not a situation where we sat on it. We've been contacting everyone we could. I, I was in touch with ARCO. We're not using ARCO because ARCO is not available. We're not using the folks uh, that the first contractor we had, we, we, we determined, I think after discussion, that they were not, they were not sufficient. And I don't, I, I, we don't need to belabor the point, but to get to, get to your point of getting an official, um, what, I would, what I would suggest or, or request maybe is perhaps uh, approval pending that uh, that sir I mean, I'll, I'll call the fire department tomorrow I'll call I'll, I'll call and ask somebody to come and inspect the property I don't think that that's a bad suggestion so so what I'm hearing okay what the law allows is that the administrator can issue the certification with the, the chairman's authority if we get an agreement amongst us to, to give her the authority to do that as soon as you have that fire department letter it's done and I'll make, I will, I would. Don't need to come back. Let's hear from the rest of the board. I, I think that's and, and, I, and, and I appreciate the, the suggestion. I, 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 I totally appreciate the suggestion. Uh, yeah. As a stormwater guy, I, um, the only concern I have over the enforcement order is there's no engineering to the flow rate and peak capacity right. of that pipe is going to see. I know y'all had a had a tendency up here to just throw in a large pipe into a culvert back in the day and let's not worry about it. So replacing a 36 or a 30 maybe with a 36. I'm looking at that bank. That's a big bank. I'm worried about a 36 being able to convey some of it, and that that's what you bypass by enforcement order over or design. Well, I just as as a comment to that, we we when when the culvert was functioning, we never had. The backups, and I okay. think the intent was the intent was to replace like with like to minimize impacts in the area. So I, I, I believe that that was that was why uh, when the contractor and again MT Mayo does culverts and they do uh, uh, they do infrastructure work, and the idea was to try to minimize the impact and replace like with like to restore what was there and the flow that was there. We don't have a river; we have a brook. How much cover are you going to have over that 36-inch pipe that? HDP, corrugated HDPE pipe. Uh, the, the, whatever the depth, whatever the depth is required. I mean, we don't know because we don't until it's excavated. Um, you know the fill, the fill to uh, to be compacted and allow for the new driveway level with with the rest of the driveway. Because those pipes they require a certain amount of cover to yeah. be able to take a vehicle load. And they would and and, 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 and they're aware of that. And the, so the intent was to excavate under the pipe to make sure the pipe sat. Uh, they were going to use, I think, as, as noted in the in the, the, um, the scope that I had prepared, uh, they were going to put in uh, you know clean gravel uh, below it, but they were going to excavate below so they could they could seat it and set it properly, and then put a proper uh, course of fill above it. They 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 are they're infrastructure folks. They 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 indicate to me that they know what they're doing. I've talked well, to plenty of contractors who call themselves infrastructure folks. And that's <laughs> well, again, I, I only know. Yeah, I, I envision, I mean, just simple cross section as you will go, Brad. Roadway, minimum cover. I think it's 12 inches for an end. I want 18. I think you know, the, those double wall pipes are certified for eight, 12 inches, say 18. But let's say 12 for discussion, right? So minus, tw minus one foot, minus three feet, bedding, minus four feet. You have water and sewer. You got force main water. Now you're down on the horizon where water and sewer is. What are you doing to protect those utilities? Yep. Well, the it, water and sewer is above. It, it, yeah, they're up. The they're water up. and sewer goes above the, the water uh, and sewer. The goes water. above the culvert. Yeah, and below the driveway. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. My yeah. house no, just they're, they're they're above and it doesn't freeze. It, right. It, it, since this 40, 45 since, years they've been yeah. there. We don't we don't have sewer. We have septic. Okay. Huh. 
there's a the there's a the sewer neighbors have, the, the neighbors have, have sewer that was put the in. Force, yeah, you have it, a force main over there. There's right. a force main that that, if, that runs almost at at right ground level. If you look next to the driveway, and it's actually been marked out, there's there's this, the sewer line runs next to the driveway through the the dirt, the the earth, um, and uh, that's been marked out. And they will they will put the culvert below that and and restore fill below it to make to protect the. Uh, Sewer line, but yeah, it, it does. Utilities are above the culvert. Everything's above the culvert. I, just, I, 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 I just hope you know what you're getting into if this is approved. That you're putting in a design that has not been through a proper review process by by an engineer. I'll, I'll rely you're dealing on. with I'll rely the, on our... the, the fabricator out there. Just oh, I know what to do. I've done this a hundred times before. Well, Pretty again, I mean, I, I I I do give some credit to them having having seen their references and, and knowing that they they do. You know the complete streets programs for a number of municipalities. Well, they, they do, do the complete streets after an engineer tells them what to do. Understood. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to debate with you. They're not dealing with underground infrastructure. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not going to debate with they you. They don't. Yeah, I, I get Sidewalks, that. bike lanes, and curbs. Yeah. But again, you know, looking yeah. at what was. I mean, ultimately, I'm not going to hold you out. You go to the, you go to the fire get the fire chief to get you the emergency and we'll do the emergency order. But and I, I thought just hope you know suggestion. what could be in your future. No, we we, well, when we went to do the first site review. We had the DPW director there, John McGacy, mm -hmm. and and we yep. explained to him what we were going to do or what he was going to do, and he didn't have a problem with it. So they've been out there a couple of times actually. The, the the town engineer and the DPW. Right. So I mean, it it's not like it's you know Joe in the backyard putting a pipe in and letting it drain. Oh, I, I agree with I've you. I've seen the contractors out there. I know. I. I I've and been, we're not I, trying to do I've anything I've been doing it for 50 it. years. I know I've seen some really scary things. He doesn't like our contractors. I do not. No. <laughs> I guarantee within on the record. six hours of starting, there's an emergency but call. I, hope, I, hope, I guarantee I, it. Is that the, lo the oh, local well, contractors? But they, emergency you know, call deal that something went right. Uh, this is, this is, I'm sure. I'm, I'm not looking forward to it, but whatever. So, so what, what's our direction here? What, what do we have? Let's, we got to have some directions. Well, I mean, time is of the essence in their eyes. The contractors there, the, the, it's, a, it's an end around, but if the DEP is saying, and I agree, if it's not an emergency, make it an emergency. If the fire chief is going to say it is that because of the inability to provide safety to those occupants, that's it. And that three, gives us a hat to hang on. There are three houses there. Oh, dang, I had There were three houses that, and that's the only way in and out. And, well, and Mr. Lynch makes a fair for point. No you know, other, I'm, for I'm, no I'm other issue to. is there an emergency. If he can get that, it becomes an emergency so, so that we can act on it. So just so I know for the future, who goes to the fire chief or the fire department? And, and they I'm, ha I'm they, happy to do that. So you, you go to... Yeah, Ms. Manzi, I'm happy to do that. All right. All right, so, Marissa, do you have any input on it? Um, you know, I just kind of echo that the design in the 70s was very different than <laughs> today. Very, very different. So... You know, you're spending all this money on a project, and if you are granted the emergency order, you're think things are very different now, and I, I don't think that it would be anticipated that it's going to last the same length of time. I'm hopeful that a plastic pipe will outlast the uh, corrugated metal. I, it's, it's, or, it's, or, it's, or, it's not going to be a structural it's, defect. It's, it's, yeah. not be, the, it's not the it's pipe that you've got to be worried sure. about. It's the work going it's on it's under and around the pipe. Around that's it. that's where the failure is. To be, Understood. Yeah. The, yeah. the pipe, yeah. the pipe will way. stay there for 100 years if they if they put it in correctly and fill it correctly and do it. That's where the design comes in. You know what? And, and also just downstream of butters. What happens if something goes awry and you impact someone down there? Who's liable? Are, are we on the hook because we're letting him do it, or is he on well, the no, hook you, for damages shit, for what know, he did? Do you know what I'm thing. saying? No, they would both, we would both be named. I, no, I think we all know that the, the, the town would not be liable. You, you We'd had, be named. We'd have to defend it. They, you know, you, you, there's there's no well, cause of action against the town. Normally, I, I, normally, people like to hang paper on. I like I like to I, do I, things I know, the right I, way. I defend mm -hmm. the town. So okay, <laughs> this is an extenuating circumstance where conceivably that. That roadway is a is a storm away from total yeah. failure. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. by doing that, now they have no access, emergency or other, to get to the property. So, I like I'm, I'm not a black. I like gray. I don't like black and white. I I mean I like gray. I think this is a, one of the times that we should, if we get the emergency from the fire chief, that it's a, mm -hmm. a danger. That we should allow it. I, 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 normally, no way I would do this. 
Oh, I agree. I, I, I just I, want you I to would, go. Truthfully, I would never. I would never. No, uh, we're we're that, warned. This night might not be the permanent fix that you wanted. To no, I, I, and I understand and that. You know, and the thing too, Mark, if you're if you're trying to avoid just the cost of a notice of intent, you might be screwing yourself later. I'm not trying to avoid because, the cost. I, well, of I'm just saying, I'm but to, you could have. Get, but I, you could have went forward. I know, but and and, really, and answered all these but questions back, but, with but, it. But, 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 you're back to the same you thing. Know, he couldn't get a contractor. The that you had made too. No, we we asked you to get a, a engineer and a wetland consultant, but th that was not heated. So, so we we have I, I have it in an email. Just, so you know, we're in the right direction. There's lots of upsides and downsides, but the reality is, if it's an emergency. If it is an emergency, we get that document, we can act on it. Okay. Until we get it, we can't. So we need it in writing so from the fire that. department that they won't take a truck down there. And I'm okay to authorize is, you, because okay. we're going to take a poll here, and we're going to vote that it, it, with that document, it is an emergency. That I would and appreciate. I make that as a motion. Did, uh, if we get okay. a document from the fire chief, right. we, I would kind of move that this is an emergency. I will second that motion. And therefore, we authorize you to sign it as an emergency. On you behalf of the document. commission. Okay. All right. Thank you. And, and, I, and like right. I said, and it gets gotta, shared with the DP, the so we hope the oh, DP. All those in favor of, of going that way, say aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. So, so when you get that letter, and we do we have an application for emergency cert? Or we just issue the no, document. No, we, we issue. Well, yeah, we get a scope of work, which. So we have the scope of work. If, if this now, is good enough. enough yes, I can say next to that. Yep. And okay, I have I have one more one other question on this. Yes. You you don't own the the roadway and the right of way. We own, we own an easement through it, which is tan okay. tantamount to an ownership interest. Uh, I would like a letter from the... Uh, I get a letter from all three, all three well, houses. I, I only care about the one that owns it, which is what, 230? 230. We all have an ownership interest in it, but I can get a letter from them as well. well. We, should, we should, because, you know, God forbid, that your contract, although he's a structural professional, <laughs> mm. Rips the sewer pipe. I, I just as to the to that point, all three ha all three homeowners have signed the contract. I, I made sure that all three actually signed the contract. You don't have the, sig the signature pages. I don't know if that is. That is well, that and I, I, I would all just like to see a letter given to her stating that the the owner of the land, where it's being done. I can do that. Give That's, permission. Absolutely. Okay, and so you. They would have been here tonight, but they they. They were not available tonight, but I, I can absolutely do that. I still want so to. You have to execute a contract at this point. Um, we do. And if we could get a copy of that, that also gives the, the I same you signature. A I sent a copy of the contract. You have that? Yeah. Okay. So I don't have we, that. We don't. No, I don't have the so contract. So Amy needs that. I, I provided a copy of the contract. Of the contract? Of the contract. You asked for it. I gave it to you. Uh, okay. All right. So we need the letter from the homeowner. We need the approval from the fire Oh yes, chief. you're right. I'm sorry. You're right. I was thinking right. of another. Oh, she's got it. She's got it. So that's all. That's yeah. all the backup we need for the emergency, sir. That scope, by the owner's perspective, owner's permission, and the contractor's statement of what it is they're going to do. All together, that's the work that he yeah. get done in now 30 you, days. You, so you, you got to fire chief says no. We are. At Wait, NOI. it's no. Then they need to get a file from NOI. Yep. If the fire chief says no, I, I, because we got to, you know, because like he, like Joe says, we could say okay, you can do it. And then the EP reads go, this is an emergency, sir. And then I, we, I understand. We'll be, we'll be in a, well, you know, you do this. We'll, we'll be, we'd be in a mess. I, we, I'm, and I'm trying to put you in a mess. You know, I, I know, and, and, or, nor myself. Yeah. If, I, if I can't, if I can't proceed this way, we'll, we'll, we'll address it. Uh, we'll, we'll address it as we have to. And just but, to be clear, I know you guys are acting in good faith. It's the hundred other people lining up out the door that's going to come in and say it's, it's slippery slope. No, I, and, and I, I mean, no, none of us so. like to be on slippery slopes. I, I, I entirely understand about that, um, and uh, I, I, that's why I, th I think your suggestion and the idea of excuse me getting the, the fire chief is it's an excellent suggestion, and I'll follow through with that tomorrow. I, I, I'm not, I'm not at all trying to put this commission in a in a in an awkward or uncomfortable position. I'm. Uh, I, I think I, I think you appreciate the position I'm in as well, and you know which we are honestly one truck away from a disaster. You, you, you We've get, had, you're you know, getting a lot of empathy from the board here. I very much appreciate oh, that. I'm not the I'm not the guy who was here two two uh, items ago, and uh, uh, that had me very nervous sitting in the back. You, you didn't find great humor in that. I didn't. <laughs> If, if, Al, I'll, I'll talk to you about the, that. Am I the only one that got a laugh out of that? Yeah, that's, a, that's a separate discussion. If, if, for a separate this goes, if this goes forward in the contractors, you, you've got the contract. You got. I would like to uh, get a narrative from the contractor. 
he he worked he he's not a he's not a writer, but he worked with me to put that narrative together. You know, he. Yeah, the, the scope of work is outlined, and the, and the contract references it. Where with that? I know. I saw that. I read that. I, We've got everything. It was. It, I I didn't make that up. I'd love if you'd reconsider the flared in no, sections I, and put in a head wall. Yeah, the head, head wall is... Uh, the flared in, I feel like you're going to lose that downstream one. It's going to go floating downstream pretty soon. I think there was a Nothing concern about, about, about pouring, the tailwater condition. I'm worried about the, pouring concrete the, 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 the backwater condition when it yeah. builds up and it tries to create any yeah, and try and to then navigate then around it. It undercuts. Undercuts. And it, it, the stone bedding it's going to lay on it finds a nice yeah. easy path that gets a flow, and the next thing you know, the color blows right down. When, when the it's not engineered, I just we know what happens. As an engineer who makes these plans, I'm worried for you. I am too. Thank you. Okay. So that. So we know where we're at. I think we need to vote. Uh, Amy, uh, we did. Provided, yeah, uh, assume, <laughs> assuming, assuming he, he gets. You having so much fun, you didn't hear us. I'm going to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to talk you out of it. Let me yeah. ask you a question. Ass assuming they, they get the certification from the fire department, mm -hmm. assuming they get there, is mm -hmm. anybody from our office going to be on site when the work has taken place to act as? Well, I guess we have to. You or Justina. <laughs> Who else is going to watch the? You or Justine are certainly welcome to come anytime. Because there may be a salamander on it. That's there might be uh, <laughs> an erosion problem happening. We relocated a, a, a Let's a not worry today. about the salamanders. I don't know what's going on. Two-inch pump, <laughs> sandbag two-inch pump discharging downstream to what? All right, so you answered my question. Thank you. Yeah, with those types of things, we need to know how they're going to de-water, how they're going to receive those So, so staff waters. will be on site. Okay. It's not, it's I know. generally described, I know. but it's not described. In I know. Thank you. I so know. it's not, so it won't, when you, if you get a pool, it, it can't stop without one of our staff there. Okay. Just I, we, we can certainly arrange that. On the emergency, right. sorry, you can, you can spell out additional conditions. You can yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to do that. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, thank so you well, very much. I think well we'll said. We'll Hopefully the chief will, will go with it for you. I'll, I'll be speaking to him tomorrow. And uh, appreciate your time and your consideration and, and the, the points that have been made. Just for the okay. record, I said chief mm -hmm. multiple times. We really want an official from the fire department the to chief. make that. Yeah. We want the oh, fire or, or his assigned. They have whatever, 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 A designee, yeah. a designee yeah. from the fire yeah. department. Yeah. That's all right. it has to be. Any designee that's, that's doing doing uh, inspections. Or that knows what he needs for a truck to go over. Yes, yeah, so they, they, they may they may be a fee for the inspection. Yeah, you leave that's, Lieutenant Nesbaum. That's, that's, that's fine. Killian. I don't know that there is. I'm just. I, no, I get you. That's that's fine. Kill coin. Yeah. We, we don't care. All right. I don't want to try to wait for a week on vacation. I've been, I've been calling. I've, I've known him as Killers okay. for, since okay. he was in all high right. school. Thank you all. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. I've got to be with that guy's thing. Have a good night. Have a good Thank morning. you, too. All right. I go for the decision. 350 winter bath. I want you guys to know you've been here all night. You've, you've been for the whole meeting. There's no extra charge for the entertainment. <laughs> for the entertainment. We throw it in. It's all part of the deal. So at least you can witness that we do have compassion to applicants. We're not the hard ass that everybody says we are. Eh, kind of hard. <laughs> <laughs> we can be.
Boy, Amy, you mean business. You highlighted the whole decision. <laughs> well, there's a lot to write. I know I really used up a lot of yellow ink. That, um, that drainage swill in the back of the property what, that you're fixing? Uh, hearing is closed. We can't, we can't talk to the, yeah. we can't do that. Well, I can't right. ask them if that was, is that on their property? It is. We can, oh, I it can, is on their I property. I can pull up the Yeah, we know the, the, record, the record shows that it is. Okay, yeah. that, that's yeah. all yeah. I'm going to ask. So we can only okay. do it. You've been yelled at before. <laughs> huh? I'm sorry. I've, I've been yelled, yelled at before. Who says he's been hit harder by bigger girl? Okay. <laughs> so I set the bond at ten thousand. You guys can discuss it. Do you think that's adequate? So what? what is, this is the question I always ask. So when discussing the bond, what is it hoping to, the bond, the bond is only important if these if they walk away from the project. Yeah, and we, and we have, have to, to stabilize, stabilize the, site. the site. So what would, would $10,000 stabilize the site? I if guess they, it if depends were, on if they were a traumatic, what phase of the project they're at, because they're phasing this. So sections of it are going to be worked yeah. while. Okay. Yeah, that's where I was going to get into this. I, I, I think it should be more. Well, my well, gut says more, but I, I want to make sure we can quantify well, it in a way that well, makes because sense. That's what I'm saying. I want to understand. What so let's understand, we, and again, we can't go to the, but what I heard in testimony is we have a, don't worry about the stores being converted. That's inside stuff. But what we have is work out back, yeah. which includes conversion of manholes, Right, catch basins mm -hmm. to manholes mm -hmm. and installation of new Some catch basins and, yeah. and to take the to take Lower surface the drainage and separate it from roof drainage. Yep. We have reloading dark disturbed area, but it's all buffer zone work. We have the re, re instituting of the, the 36 inch pipe that's out in the well, and the, mm -hmm. that, that that's part of the work. Mm -hmm. Out front is where the becomes far more abstract. We have a multi, I'm going to hear, I'm going to use the phrase multi-phased multi disturbance of paved area. Yes. Which includes full depth reconstruction, yep. pulverizing or otherwise, but full depth, regrading, repitching, yep. fill, cuts and fills, moving material around incrementally. Yep. So the risk occurs for erosion controls and restoration phase by phase, and we don't know how the phases are cut up yet. Right. They have. They said they would let us know when they knew, but they didn't think it's part of the testimony. Right. So we could say, phasing aside, they may simply say phase one is grind the whole darn thing, the other fourth of vulnerability is tear up the whole parking lot, mm. make it all unstable, and the threat is that full length. Right. So what's the potential there? Far more than ten thousand dollars. True, but I, I know they did say they're not going to do that because they need certain. They're we still going to fun function. They're going to stay. They're going to stay open. Open. So, so but, but you know, juggling and yeah. phases. Yeah. You know, I think in the overall scheme of things, it's the same threat in the end mm -hmm. over a longer period of time yeah, yeah. than a bigger area over open a shorter a period of time. time. So the reality is the same threat. So my gut says that if. In a heavy rain, that entire disturbed area during any phase mm. were to wash into mm. the brook because mm -hmm. it's all moving towards 114. They'd have to come in and clean that out, stabilize it, revegetate it over that full length. That was, that's the threat that I see, right. and that's far more than 10,000. Right. I see that as being something bigger. I I don't think it's a hundred thousand no. dollars. I don't think I don't know if it's fifty thousand dollars. But I, th but I think we can separate the front and the back and say that those threats aren't necessarily yeah, going to be occurring simultaneously. Right, right. That's, that's or what I, more severe. So I, I think we're looking at the order of $50,000 for a bond. I think when we did the, we should look at what we did for the original 
I think I should say original, the crossing up at the north exit, up at the gas station, and where they put the uh, stormwater management area in and the boulders in adjacent to the Shawshank, I think that bond was like twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars. I think my recollection. I think it was either twenty or twenty-five. Again, you put it there just as a holding spot for debate and discussion, right? Well, what is what? Like, I can't ask. You said I can't ask a question. What did they did they give us an estimate on the project? No. So so we 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 take our best shot at what, how how it would reasonably be done. Um, Amy, are you looking up that other? I'm looking at the yeah. Yeah, let's get that let's get that info. That'll help. Because that's more apples to apples. That th this project is bigger than the other one. Yeah. Pardon me? This project is bigger than the other. No, I understand. I understand. But but thirty uh, uh, thirty thousand. That's what I remember. For the daylighting of that and new culvert. It's still there. I thought it was about thirty thousand. I think this is fifty. This is this is double that. And let's, so yeah, let's call it fifty, not sixty. For for purposes of discussion. And that's everything just up front. We haven't still haven't talked about up back. Now, whether you want to add a little bit more for up back, or, or simply say that the whole DM site is going to fail all at once, that you know fifty thousand dollars does it covers us for everything. And the reality is, if big catastrophe hits, they're not going to walk away from the project. They, oh no! Fully no. functioning shopping center. I know. <laughs> right, so right. I think fifty thousand covers us. I really do. Okay. I agree. There's minimal risk here, I don't I think, of them leaving us, us on the back. Yeah, I'll agree with that. I mean, I think they're not going to, in reality, they're not going to end up stripping the entire site. And no. 50000 would probably cover and, and based any impact. Here. And yeah. like I said, based on, on, on previous jobs that they've done, you know, the, the Calvin entrance, they did a good job on that one. Yeah. They did a good job on the other end. So, yeah. uh, based on history, I, I well, they choose good contractors that yeah. are responsive to. Well, I'm sure. I'm sure these mean, guys keep tight leash on the con. <laughs> this is not their first rate. No, they, 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 they got <laughs> Brazilian sites. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah. You know, okay. I, I have minimal concern. All right. So 50 it is. Any more questions about it? Oh, yeah, I have other questions. Uh, so we talked about phasing. We talked about the proposed work. We talked about the, 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 the roadway, re uh, the parking area repaving. I think there needs to be some discussion about phasing and that we want to know what the phasing plan is and that we want to be involved in that so we can. So I got. Um, is it later on? 40 D. Detailed sequence schedule of all construction phases, including installation of, east, of erosion controls, site demo, and paved phasing and revegetation that align with erosion control proposal for the site. The construction phases shall be specified, shall be include specified locations of construction equipment storage that maximize wetlands protection, dewatering locations, employing the means and methods as described on sheet sheet C8. I, don't know, I mean, I, agree, so I don't know if that's strong enough or you need more language well, I, around that. I think you can work within that. I mean, every phase, every sub phase is still part of the phase, right? Yeah. As long as you know, as long as we know what you're asking for during pre-construction, you make it clear yeah. that that's what that means. Right. I'm, I'm fine with that. Um, on a large, large area like this, do we want all erosion controls? Is all dewatering in place all at once, or do you want to allow that some of that to be done on a phase by phase basis? Probably needs to be done on a phase by phase basis. Okay. Otherwise, it's good maintaining it in areas where it's not needed. Doesn't yeah, make any sense. Yeah, they need to they need to have the flexibility to move it around where it makes sense and um, where, where it's most needed. I think I think that I don't think they're going to need a dewatering plan for the front. I think they're going to need a dewatering plan for the back. And I don't think they're going to need a dewatering plan for the front. 
You're right, but I know that we've oftentimes had arguments that when the construction starts, we want all of those protections in place at the beginning. The reality is if they're not doing the stuff up back yet, but they're working up front, why put the dewatering in until you get ready to do that phase? Right, but I, I don't think they need dewatering in the front parking lot. On That's a, what I'm saying. So they're working in the front, so why should we make them put the dewatering right. up back? No, I know. Make, allow the various protection measures to be put in place on a phase by phase basis. Based, phase, based, based that, on the phase. That coincides on the phasing. with the construction phase. Yep, okay. Okay. So jogging on condition 40, a sit down meeting. I always do a meeting standing up. Don't say sit down I mean, meeting. You know, Just like a uh, meeting. <laughs> in person. Not sure. like on site. I mean, let's sit down around the table. Well, I kind of like sit down meetings. <laughs> they don't belong in an organization. Um, an office meeting or a Some Zoom meeting. call or arrange a meeting. Just arrange a meeting, but meeting. it doesn't. It, not on site. That's yeah. what I mean, really. Less, <laughs> less is more, Amy. Less is more. All right. Especially where it's bolded. Six, we're worried about sitting down. There'll be no sitting down. <laughs> well, then I'm not going. We'll all be standing. <laughs> oh, God, I tell you. Where do we want the project side? DEP side. Um, the the entrance, though. No? I can. If yeah, you could a, maybe have a couple, like one on the south, one on the north. It's usually easy on any other job we've done on this instance. We want it, you know, conspicuous. Yeah. Wouldn't you want to put it right where the construction trailer is? <laughs> <laughs> Will there be a construction? I can't ask. So, so, <laughs> like be so it's, at the construction so office. It's, it's likely there'll be a construction trailer yeah. there. It's very likely. They're going to have to have put this stuff somewhere. How about so in a location or? approved by the Conservation Administrator? Yeah. 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 There, there, there you, you go. got to put the there coffee go. pot somewhere. <laughs> it's going to be visible from 114. <laughs> when it's raining, That's out, what they're going to all head for the trailer. Yeah. Yeah. What about the bath? Do you require the swope inspections to be submitted to conservation? No. Just our... Um, weekly monitoring. The erosion control monitor will do weekly monitoring and okay. reporting. So, and then I guess they could roll it into being a SWIP. They just got to keep the log. Yeah. Right just, on one side. Yeah. yeah. But then they but they have to do an actual report to us. Actually, this is also a certified construction inspector now. Yeah. This is not just anybody. Um, this is this is actually certified by EPA, having passed the exam. Yeah. Should I add that? Just say in accordance with the, the SWIFT. The SWIFT is what requires that anyway by, by regulation, right? The 2022 construction home permit? Yeah. They got a new little test you got to pass. Yeah. It's just easy. A little test? No. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't think it was a little, but. So to your point is we don't we don't require that they submit those, but under NIPTES they're required to undertake frequency and keep logs and yep. be yes. certified and be so as long as they're doing it in accordance with the law, they're satisfied that the meeting I require. Yeah, they're going to get a NIPTES permit, so. So I. Um, <clears throat> oh, okay. Any more questions? Fifty thousand and no sitting down. No, no sitting. That's the most important part of this. Is there any more questions? No. Nope. She's still reading it off. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
you're still reviewing. Um, okay. Yeah. So. Anything in the O and M plan? When does that kick into gear? At substantial completion, once the construction's done. I'm sorry. Say that again. The, the O and M plan. It's our condition fifty three. So during construction, we're going to use you know the SWIP in the in the federal per, federal yeah. permit <laughs> during construction. But once they we don't get anything uh, with O and M until after we issue the certificate of compliance, right? O and M plan has maintenance and erosion control measures and stuff in there too. So that's yeah. during construction as well. It usually does. I does, it, does, any, does restoration in any of this? No. No, there's no restoration. Even the top of the bank, that's all new work, right? It's not restoration. Yeah, it's like in the back, it's stabilization. So we're going to want, for, you know, again, just so we're clear, we're going to want those to be inspected in the inspection forms before they come in for their certificate of compliance. It's got to go through that cycle of being maintained at least once. Okay. Right. And the O&M is not required to be filed with the registered deeds? I attach it okay. with the order and have it recorded. All right, so, so Joe, you, so 65, does that address what you were just talking about? Oh, no, no, I'm sorry, not 65, I'm sorry. Um, Hold on. Talk about O and M. Yeah. Fifty three. I think it's fifty three or fifty two. Oh no no fifty three yeah. That's post construction. Transit along. Maintenance of the BMPs before they go for. So just make sure we understand, because they're putting BMPs and that require certain levels of maintenance. Yes. They could say they could build everything. Be done. Do an as built. Yeah. And they may desire to come in in two weeks after that and say we want a certificate of compliance. Yeah. How long do we want to see? Th oh, them functioning. Kind of an, those mm. functioning in, in the inspection before, before they before come. Before we can get. Oh. That's what. That's what. That's I'm right a here. good question. Because <clears throat> I think we want to see those functioning through at least one full, full season, yeah. year. Yeah. I want to see all four seasons. Full year, one full year. Oh. And since there's no rest restoration, there's no two-year growing cycle for anything no. else. No. Okay. We had rain gods in some of these areas too. It's a, uh, it's a swale. Just with, a swale. With wet basin. Yeah, but just in those, just in the. In the front. It's in the front. The road, right. Right. And nothing interior. No infiltrators of rain gods interior no. in the islands. There's an existing rain garden, isn't there? Yeah. It was down at the yeah. at the south end, right? Yeah. I think they're still planning on draining to that. Yeah, it, the swale I think ends up there. So even if that's unaltered, that's going to be part of an ongoing at O&M. O &M, so we want to see that stuff too. We want to see basically a report for all four seasons after the construction is complete, substantially complete. And that's almost a hybrid that could either be in 53 or 65. <laughs> that's where you were struggling, okay. right? Yeah, okay. Is, is requested. Yeah. Everything in green is just reminders for you to cross reference yeah. when they're done. Yeah. yeah. If nothing else. Mr. Chairman, I move that we issue. Two four two one eight eight two. Are you done? Yes. Yep. You got to keep them. We got to. We got other people. I'm down here. I was. I, I did glance down and I. I didn't detect. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't detect any motion. So, uh, my motion is to approve it as amended. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, and that's unanimous. Motion to adjourn. Yes. Oh. So moved. Second. All those in favor say aye. Uh, aye. Opposed, next.